right now. Because what I'm about to do for Mr. Yo It's O, it's going to be very loud. S Rims with the one bit! S Rims with the one bit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! S Rims with the one bit! S Rims with the one bit! S Rims with the one bit! Oh my god! What? Are you out of your mind? What is... What? That's insane. You can't just do that. You can't just do that. What are you do? What are you thinking? What are you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Come on. Get it. Let's enjoy hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I agree with that. Uh, primal prey. Oh! Oh! Berserk Zod coming at me with the raid. Uh, welcome everybody uh, to the stream. Here's my BDSM results. You came in at the perfect time. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Jesus. Berserk Zod, how's it going? Are you going to put it on Twitter? Yes, of course I am. What are you talking <laughs> about? Of course I am. Yeah. Of course I am. What the fuck? Momo Swift. I'm at. Cream Pita literally says that I'm babysitting him right now. You're babysitting me. I said I'm babysitting Oreos. Yeah, you are basically. Well, I need I need a security detail. That was Hell's, but he wandered off. I wore all black for a reason. Hell's wandered off. He fucking hates me. He was tired of the. Uh... Yeah, he. Was... Oh my God, Hell's was getting recognized so much more than me, and I was like, you know what? I can't. I can't do this anymore. I gotta get away from him. Pathetic. Okay, so this is like making me hopeful. But I would like, I, whoever you are, thank you. What? Your, your daddy Dre. No, wait. What? What? Huh? My daddy. Draymanox. I bend over and touch your toes. Like forward? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, bend forward and touch your toes. Okay. Alright. Alright, now what? Spell run. Spell the run. word run. Yeah. R Awful. Hope you're all doing very well. I <laughs> hope everything is very awful. Effective. What do you mean awful? First day is supposed to be good. Ish. How's it going? Conky Dong. I think. All right. Hey, listen. I forget what first days are supposed to be like. That's what we gotta do. All right. I'm not gonna back down from a challenge. He did. Present it. Give me that Conky Dong. I would love. To get some Guys, tonight was a, uh, tonight's a mashed potatoes night. Right now, You're not gonna like it. Oh, shit. Child. Well, hey. <clears throat> uh. How dare you? How dare you? I am not misbehaved. I am the nicest person ever. Ever. Ugh. I will not allow you to dis discriminate on me for, for... Whatever well, I guess uh, I now you can take this opportunity to start applying for right? a different job. <laughs> I don't need your shit, and I'm not gonna take it from you. So please. That could be fun. Back the fuck up. Now, yeah, it's a mashed potatoes it's not night. Happen. Just stop. I had to. Stop. So. Stop. All right. All right. All right. All right. Stop. Please stop. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. I know. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry, Matt. I know. All right. Hi, everyone. But. We're live. Uh, this is uh, oh sh fuck! I didn't. We gotta turn on that light. Ah! I am so ill prepared. Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, it's a mashed potatoes night. So basically, what that means is, um, I didn't have any time to make a a, a real dinner. So what I did is I had to make instant dehydrated mashed potatoes using uh two cups of of boiled water in in the microwave for five minutes, and then I. Pour the 
mashed potato dust in, and the result is uh, actually some pretty delicious mashed potatoes. Not gonna lie, they're pretty good. Um, mashed potatoes. So it's like, what? How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? So there. That's where we're at. Guys, how's everybody doing today? It's Wednesday. We got a lot to talk. I'm just kidding. We don't have a lot to talk about. Um, No, I'm kidding. We do have a lot. Don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to um, experience together as a family. All right. Uh, your mother and I, we've been talking about this for a while now, and we think it's time to uh, uh, let you know uh, some things. Uh, first off, um, no, you're not, you, it's not that you're adopted. Um, um, how do I put this lightly? It's not that you're adopted. We never wanted you to begin with. All right. Um, not, there's that. Any questions? Never wins the game. <laughs> never wins the game. How's it going? Queen Cranium, Red Morning Light, all you beautiful people in the house coming at me. Much appreciated. I'm glad that I can fill your hump day night with as much saucy entertainment as I possibly can. I'm gonna do my best. I know I'm 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 not uh, up on I'm not up on things. Um I'm not I'm not, you know, number one streamer on Twitch, but you know, I'll take the number two spot. It's alright. Uh we have a new uh sub goal. Uh, thing um thing now um I don't think we've gotten 30 subs so far in in the seven minutes that I've been live so far um so I'm not exactly sure what that's all about that yes it, oh oh god let yeah let, let's admire the hair look at okay so now he left a little bit on the top this time clearly um I kind of told him to leave the top a little bit because I, I want I want to get some floof going on. I want some vertical action. I want to go boo, but the sides had to get cut and we had to get that fade going. And he even he's so nice. He even does the beard for me. He's like there's like this gradient of fade that I like that he does. And he 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 does such a he he's very detail oriented. I like him. He 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 knows what he's doing. I like him and I give him a good tip. Not my penis. I I mean like a a tip with my money. You know, nothing too much, but, uh, well, actually it used to be a lot. I used to pay him like almost double, uh, for the tip. Uh, but then he raised his prices and I'm like, well, I'm not tipping more. I mean, fuck. It's already now it used to be a $25 haircut. Now it's a $35 haircut. And what I would do is I give him two twenties. I was like, here you go, buddy. There's your tip. Keep it. Keep the change. Now he raised it to 35, so now I'm only giving him a $5 tip. And it's like, well, buddy boy, uh, 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 first of all, I don't know why you raised your price. Secondly, um, what do I look like? I'm made of money? Come on. $40 is a good enough haircut tip once a month? Like, come on. That's enough. That's enough. I don't think most people even tip him there, honestly. So, I am a I am a, a highlight customer, so that's good. And you get my haircut of uh, free booze at the... What? Oh, shit. That's a good idea. I should tell my guy about that. He should start offering free beer. I like that idea. I know... I mean, that reminds me. A lot of barbershops actually do that. That's a good idea. I should, uh, I should tell him that. That's a... That's a... That's a... Mm, that's a... Mmm. Because he already offers, um... Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Go away, Windows Update. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, he already offers, like, free soda and candy because he has, like, a lot of kids that come in. Uh, so maybe it's not a good idea to offer beer. Well, it's not like the kids are going to grab it. Or are they? I don't know. Can you offer it? Can you do that as a business? I don't know. There's, uh, it's probably a little iffy as far as the legality of, of doing that. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Absolutely. Kids do absolutely love beer. Especially in Wisconsin. They're raised on it. It's in their veins. That's what I was raised on. I was, I was 
fucking drunk as a skunk since birth. That's how it goes. That's how we get it done. That's what it's all about. Yeah, here in Wisconsin, you 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 shit bratwurst, you piss string cheese, and your blood runs with fucking spotted cow. Delicious. Oh, oh. And uh, uh, well, okay, you poop bratwurst and cheese curds. I was I I left cheese curds out because technically that plugs you up, but uh, uh, why not? Why not? Fuck it. Well, you know it's got to come out eventually, right? Wisconsin does have a lot of good beer and a lot of good breweries. Uh, we are a very... See, the, here's the thing with Wisconsin. It is so fucking boring here that the only entertainment that we can get is when we drink ourselves into a stupor and make things fun uh, by force. You should make more time for food. <sighs> yeah, I wish I could make more time for a lot of things. <laughs> But then I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be here. I think I need to zoom in a little bit. I'm a little zoomed out here. Um, then I wouldn't be able to, I, I, I would be late. Trust me. It would be, it would be not good. Beast of Light! How's it going? Is this channel safe from the Kawona virus? Ooh. Um, yes, we use the power of anime to get the coronavirus to, uh, go away for a while. So as of now, uh, li latest tests we did. Uh, we are coronavirus free. There are, however, three uh, cases in Wisconsin, three confirmed cases. And I actually found this really cool website that fucking escapes me right now. Uh, hold on. Live map. Tell me there's a. Tell me there's a, 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 a interactive map. Is this it? Map number of the... I think this is it. Oh, yeah, this might be it. Right? No? Hold on. Hold on, where is it? Oh, where the fuck's the link? The fuck? Hold up. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is, this is some shit right here. This is some shit right here. Look at that. The coronavirus! Uh, Joe, my buddy, how's it going? What's going on with you? How are you be what it is? I'm really mad that my favorite restaurants are in Wisconsin and Georgia. Uh, well, where are you at? Nah, you're probably far enough away that you can't reach it. Uh, that, that, would, that would make sense. So, live coronavirus map. We got a lot of... Uh, ooh, ooh, geez. It's just kind of cool to get a visual... Holy shit, 67,000 confirmed, 3,000 dead. Yeesh. It, uh, yeesh. My goodness, total deaths. Okay, well, that means the, well, yeah, the majority were, were here, obviously. At least it has a decent recovery rate, so that's pretty good. But look at where it is. It's, it's fucking all over, dude. This is not containable. This is some shit right here. NB, how's it going? What it is, what it be, what it NB, and uh, what it do. How's it going? Uh, reminds me of that site NordVPN has for DDoS. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, what's that? What's that? Hold on. I, I like that. Hold on, what is that? Oh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's so fucking cool to watch. Yes, yes, this one. This one, I think. Loading DDoS attack data. DDoS attack data. Oh, wait, no, maybe this isn't it. There's like a, a, a dark mode map that, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple of them. I just wonder how you actually, like, figure that out. I mean, I guess if you're a big um, VPN service, then you're probably... Uh, but it's called digitalattackmap.com. So what are the stats for... Yeah, Greenland. Greenland doesn't have any cases, dude. That Greenland's the place to be. Like, compare... How about Madagascar? Oh, dude! Madagascar don't got shit. But there's fucking one case on this island? Really? Wow. 
Madagascar is safe. That fucking uh, Plague Simulator game was right. Greenland and Madagascar, there ain't shit going on. That's crazy. Iran? Uh, how's Iran doing? Where the hell is Iran? Oh, it's right here. I thought it was more over here. Oh, whatever. 9,000?! Oh my god! Holy shit, I didn't know it was that many. That's crazy. Definitely had to map, add that map to Clout V. Oh god. That's... God, that's not a bad idea for a business model. I don't hate that. Maybe one of these days I'll actually do that. Um... Uh, Illinois. Oh, well, Queen, you can just drive up to Wisconsin. You're good. You're close enough, right? I mean, I assume you live in the part of Illinois that matters, a.k.a. Chicago. That's about it. That's the only part of Illinois that matters, honestly. I mean, let's be honest. Um. Oh, is Micronesia a state? Where the hell is Micronesia? You have to forgive me. I'm an American. I don't know jack shit about the world. Well, yeah, Iran's getting pounded. It How's Italy doing? Dude, it's like all over Europe, too. 12,000 cases? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. 2,000... 2,200... Yeah, it's about even for Spain and France. It's all over. This is nuts. Western Pacific Ocean? Uh... Oh, God. Um, is it by any chance somewhere near Indonesia? Or is it totally different? Is there a way to search? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, above... Uh, okay. Where is it? Let's see here. Um, is it, like, up here? What's that? Northern Mariana Islands. Guam. Oh, there's Guam. Um, somewhere up here. Iran's Minister of Health. Uh, was it Iran's Minister of Health? or what? I think it was some European country, actually. I'm not sure. It was a confirmed case in my county. There were five in Atlanta when I was over there this weekend. Ooh-wee. That's not good. Yeah, it's, it's going to get us all. I think what I think the projections were that like a million people in the United States were projected to die from this, and h half the country was going to contract it. So you you literally have a fifty percent chance of getting it right now, which is pretty good odds. I think most of us in this chat right now are going to get it. so so me plus nine viewers that means five of us are going to get it by by the this by the time this is all over. Southeast of Guam. Oh shit. Uh okay, wait. So Guam is here. South East. Uh oh! Here it is! Nope. Micronesia is safe. You're good. <laughs> Philly had a reported case, so they canceled the St. Patty's Day parade. Dude. Uh, the company that I work for is canceling pretty much every single event we do around the country. At least for the foreseeable future. Dusty Dreams in the building. How's it going? What it is? What it be? How are you doing? Uh, my nephew's school had a staff confirmed with it. School says it's safe to go to college. No. No. What are you talking about? No, it's not. Absolutely not. Because the, the incubation period is a little bit longer, too. So it's very possible that he could have been around when he wasn't even uh, showing signs of symptoms. Or she. Uh, when they were showing signs of symptoms. So with that being said, it's like... Uh, they better fucking hose down that entire school. Philadelphia? Well, it only has Pennsylvania cases. Um, and then this is New Jersey. It goes by state. It's not centered on, like, where they actually are. Oh, Pennsylvania's got 16 cases. Nobody's died yet. Philadelphia's in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah, okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make 100% sure. Um, oh, shit. So you might actually get the coronavirus. That's not good. Done working for the day? Hey, that's good. How about that? 
Yeah, uh, a lot of St. Patrick's Day parades got canceled from what I heard. I know I, uh, on my way into work this morning, uh, I was hearing about um, um, just like all over the country events and, and, and parades and like gatherings of a hundred or more people were being like prohibited and canceled and banned and all. The oh my God, there's six in the case in my state. It doubled. Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. We're all gonna die. We're all... We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna fucking die, dude. This coronavirus, even though it only kills old people, we're all gonna fucking die, dude. We're gonna die. Because one day, we're gonna get old. And we're gonna get the coronavirus. And then you know what? Then we're gonna die. Then we're gonna die! What's the link for the map? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Here. This one. Boop, 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 boop. That. That's the link for the map. Um, but yeah, no, this is crazy. So, it's, God, and that's, the like, these dense population centers on the West Coast, it's going to be spread so much easier over there. Uh, bad game etiquette! Also, how's it going? Love you. Some of the smaller towns by me went, oh, not canceled, bring the virus. Well, hey, 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 you never know. Anything's possible. Lexi, go! Lexi Gaia! How's it going? <clears throat> what it is, what it be, and what it do. I'm in Vermont. Ooh, Bernie Sanders hellhole of a socialist shithole. What do you got? One case? Lexi, be, on Le be honest with me. Be honest with me, Lexi. Is it you? Are you the one with the coronavirus? Are you... I, I want to know. Because if you are, I want you out. I'm going to ban you from the server. Iceman! There's a link. That would be a link for you, laddie. I actually just posted it, but I'll post it again because I know people are still coming in. Oh, my goodness. I'm doing well, bad game. I'm doing well. I'm getting through. Thank you for that host, Lexi. Very much appreciated. Mwah. I was, uh... I was, a uh, Oh! Cyberbug coming at me with the two months Twitch Prime. Oh, oh, very nice, very much appreciated. Spreading the sexiness. Well, I wouldn't call it sexiness. I would call it an infectious disease. Yeah. So I don't know what's up with the fucking counter tonight, because there is no way in hell that I got thirty subs in the last twenty-two minutes. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's... I, I think I picked the wrong uh, source for um, the, the thingy, I think. Hold on. Love lift us up where we belong Where the eagles fly And the mountains high I don't know why I started singing that. Um, okay, so the source for this stupid crap. Why is it 30? It's not 30. Oh, it's session, right? It's supposed to be session. 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 Subscriber count. Right? Right? That's how many people subscribe this, this stream? I wish daddy would give me that sound. Oh. We should make that into an alert noise one of these days. But thank you, Cyberbard, for the Twitch Prime again. Very much appreciate my dude. Tom Hanks apparently has it. No! 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 S session subscriber count, okay? It's not 30. It's not 30. It's not 30. He announced it on Instagram? Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't, don't. Hold on. See, my problem is I got too many attractive women on Instagram that I follow. What is this? Rita and I are down here in Australia. 
We felt a bit. Oh, oh, Lexigo coming at me with the seven month resub. Oh my goodness. Blah. Very, uh, very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much, Lexi. What the fuck do you mean? I just got a text that. Is it really? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, we'll we'll fix that. Uh, Lexi girl, thank you so much. Very much appreciate the count. Still hasn't updated. Uh, man, Streamlabs is really dropping the fucking ball lately. <laughs> it's like, oh, what do you do? What do you do? Real life reenactment of the movie Philadelphia. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, uh, Rita and I are down here in Australia. We felt a bit tired like we had cold and some body aches. Rita and I just, uh, we were tested for the coronavirus and we were found to be positive. The medical officials have protocols that must be followed. We Hanks will be tested, observed, and isolated for as long as Public health and safety requires not much more to it than a one-day-at-a-time approach, no? Dude, I'm worried about Tom Hanks. Uh, please don't die, Hanks. Heart. Please don't die. I really don't want that. <sighs> Fuck, dude. It got Tom Hanks. You know, it almost. Ha uh, I think Trump is gonna get it too. He's been in some close contact with a with a good amount of people. This this is as of 15 minutes ago. This is live exclusive Oreo side coverage coming at you from twitch.tv slash Oreo side. You can follow me at twitter.com Oreo side, uh, Instagram.com slash Oreo side, YouTube.com slash Oreo side. You get the hottest, quick first coverage news takes only here. Don't even don't even ask me about anything else, uh, because there's no point. Okay, John Travolta, John Travolta. What's going on with Johnny? Did he announce it on Insta? He probably didn't announce. Oh my, dude, he fucking looks like Joe Rogan. What the fuck, dude? When the fuck did J uh, John Travolta get the Joe Rogan look? What the fuck? Literally, though. Literally, though. They're the same person now. They're the same person now. <laughs> oh, my God. Does Nicolas Cage have it? I don't know. I don't know if anybody's reported it on Instagram. Uh... Can I have you look someone up on YouTube? He can give you info from sources. No, no, no. I am the I am the I am the one. I'm the one who who has all the sources. All right. I am the first reporter. I need to finish my goddamn potatoes. Look at all the cold. That's not good. Um, we can't afford the loss of so much. I know, right? We really can't. Because like. What kind of a fucking world would we live in where Tom Hanks is taken from us by the coronavirus, but Donald Trump isn't? I guess the same world that let him become president in the first place, which means we live in a fucking shitty timeline. This is a shitty fucking... What, okay, what is 30 days... Subs okay, so, okay. So you're telling me that I have gotten a little under half of my subs... Just in just in starting the stream. I don't think so, Streamlabs. I think you're Ooh. fucked up. I just probably what okay, 30 day subscriber count. Wait, that's what I already picked. Um What the fuck source do I pick? Cause no, it's like okay, monthly sub well it wait, what's the difference between monthly subscriber count? And 30 day subscriber count. Let's find out. This is a lower number than what I got! The Biff Tannen time? Oh, yeah! Yeah! No! Wait! No! We really are living in the fucking Biff Tannen timeline where, where he literally.
plays the role of Donald Trump. Basically. We are literally living in that timeline right now. Do you think that in an alternate timeline, Donald Trump was just like some bully in, in high school and he never amounted to anything except fucking uh, 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 polishing cars? That's... <laughs> Can we can we go to that reality? Can some can someone please do that? That would be nice. This is gonna be the name of the person, right? Okay, well that's not even the person who unless we're talking about the latest resubscriber. Most recent re oh okay. So this would be Lexi Girl, right. Okay. Well that works. When were these last modified? 830, 830, 830, 8 so now, basically. All of these were last updated except for, wait, okay. So it's one of these, right? Weekly total session. See, it's session. Session YouTube subscribers. Apparently none, and that's that's true, that's accurate. Uh, look at who his dad was. He was never going to be a no one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. But I mean, like, in the alternate timeline, would his dad have been also garbage? Trying to learn Mandarin? Ooh. What for? Top, no, uh, session. Session. This is going to be... No, 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 no. I need... Most... I need session... What is... I just want to see how many of these... Okay, session cheer amount. Has anybody cheered 1,100 bits? Or 11,000 bits in the last 32 minutes that I'm fucking unaware of? This is ridiculous. I will tell you my name in Mandarin. Rizzy doesn't want you to, to tell us your name in Mandarin, so I'm sorry. Don't, I don't want to hear it. I mean, I do, but Rizzy said we can't, so sorry. Um, I know that's not what he was answering. <laughs> Nobody loves you much. I know that. Wow, yao, zi, yi. Wo, yao, zi. Probably did not pronounce that correctly. I'm an ignorant American. Forgive me, please. All right. Session subscribers. No. The <sighs> okay. Can somebody please help me and tell me how the fuck... You, how the fuck does everybody else have those fraction subscriber goal things on their stream? Am I doing something wrong? Is there a, is there an alternative? My name is Zoe. Zoe. Ye oh, okay. I got it. Uh, somebody help me. I need help. I mean, I need a lot of help. Um, let's go back to this actually. Nobody wants to watch me f fuck with my dumb OBS. Um, Session, 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 session. I need an adult. I'm an adult. All fake, man. Nobody gets subs except you. See, I think it's the other way around. I think I'm the only one that never gets subs, even though I have 89 subscribers. And everybody else gets subs except for me because they're all girls with big tits, and, that, and that's the only discernible value that they have. All of them. Look at Dr. Disrespect. Big titty girl. All right. he's he, You know how much money he gets? A lot more than I do. You know why? Big titties. That's all it is. That's what it's all about. And if you disagree with me, you're a simp. Session subscriber count. This is what I had. That's at 30. This doesn't make any fucking sense. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is dumb. Dummy, dum, dumb, dumb. Dummy, dum, dumb. Anyway.
Have you tried starting an OnlyFans? That's how Dr. Disrespect got out. Is it really? I might have to look into that. That sounds interesting. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to... I do have an OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com slash OreoSide. Go on there. Go follow me. Go subscribe. I have no... Um, I should, maybe I should, hold on. You know what we should do? Let's, 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 uh, let's create. All right, here we go. Sign up or log in with Twitter. Okay, here we go. Shit, I probably can't pull this up on stream. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna, all right, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, all right. So let's edit our, let's create our OnlyFans profile. Edit profile. I'm playing with fucking fire right now. Profile images must not contain nudity or explicit images. Fuck! Damn it! I was gonna do that. Holy shit, this description's way out of date. Illuminate, what's that? Never heard of it. Sounds like a shit fucking community. Garbage community! This website is gonna be a thing at some point. Amazon wishlist. Ooh, I should put that somewhere. Display name. Audio side. Subscription price per month. Before sending your monthly subscription. Fuck! I have to add a bank account? God damn it. All right, hold on one second. <clears throat> Let me drag this back over here. Add a bank account. Wait, 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 wait. Save changes. Save changes. Add a bank account. Let's do it. All right. For Fuck. Okay. Good thing I did not pull this up on stream. There we go. Um, ooh, I have to upload a driver's license. Will you be posting sexually explicit and pornographic content? Yes. Um, expiration date for the ID. I mean, do I even have a copy of my ID saved somewhere on this computer? Probably not. That's what we should be doing on the stream. Let's create Oreo's OnlyFans profile. Uh, no, let's not do that. That's stupid. <laughs> nobody wants... Nobody, look, look, look. The meme is funny until nobody actually pays for it. And then I'm just like, well, I went through all this work for nothing. Because <clears throat> everybody is all over here simping for some other e-girl. It's pathetic. It's disgusting. Just because I don't have big tits and a nice ass and a tight pussy. Nobody's going to give me money. It's pathetic. It's disgusting. It's revolting, offensive, degrading. Unbelievable. We need to charge twenty dollars a month. Well, how else will we make money? Oh, exactly. Twenty dollars. Hey, that's like a that's that's a, that's cheaper than a tier three. You know? A hey, that's how it goes. If it's more than two dollars, I'll respect you, but not uh not sub one ninety nine. Oh no, it would be at least ten dollars. At least. Why? Hello. How's it going? Thank you for the compliment on my haircut. I like it as well. I think it's a nice haircut. I think it's a thick haircut. It's very nice. Very nice. How are you doing? I'm still in shock that I have followed you longer than Blackish. I know it's wrong. Well, is it though? Is it though? I mean, let's think about it. Like, just just because you happen to. Oh, you know what? I Blackish unfo. I think he unfollowed me at some point, or something got fucked up, or whatever. But he. Um, his follow count when he did it was not accurate because I know he was following me before, um, uh, the time I calculated in my head when he did the thing. I know it for a fact. So that means he must have, I must have done something to upset him. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's very, it's, uh, it's very nice. I wonder how long I've been following Oreo. What? Uh! What? I'm not following myself. Bruh. Bruh. That's not good. Let's refresh. Let's see if this, uh, let's see if this number went up. 125, 865. 125891. Oh! That's like 20 more people. That's almost 30 more people. Bruh. And we've only been live. I've only had this page up for like 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, 30 more people got infected. Not good. Not good. We're in trouble, folks. 
Arctic Girl's been following Oreo side for one year, nine months, 21 days. The fuck is wrong with you? The fuck is the matter with you? Bear starts selling your bath water? I thought about it. I thought about just pissing in a bottle and selling that. And then I'll, I'll, I'll have like certain tiers of pricing for the piss bottles based on how dehydrated I was when I, when I took a piss. So you guys know how like when you pee, the clearer it is, the more hydrated you are. Um, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, sometimes, not all the time, because I do sleep with a with a with a uh, ice water next to my. I, I, this this almost comes with me everywhere I go. Oh, so good. And. Sometimes I don't hydrate properly. Sometimes my pee is going to be a little bit darker. You know, if you want to buy my pee uh, when it's a little bit darker, that's premium prices, right? That's not as, uh, you know, it's not, it doesn't go around. It doesn't come out as much as the, as the average pee. You know what I mean? Bonus, uh, you can use it to, to pass a, a drug test. You know, you can use my, oh, wait, no, you can't use my piss to pass a drug test. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, disclaimer, everybody. Do not use Oreo's piss to attempt to pass a drug test. You will fail, and you will probably fail uh, worse than you would have had you just pissed on your own. Uh, oops. <laughs> and if anybody from my employer is watching, yes, I smoke marijuana. Fire me. Do it. You're not gonna, you know why? Because you're smarter than that and you would not fire me over that because I have given you absolutely no reason to start an unsubstantiated witch hunt against me. Brought your company to the top and you're just gonna throw me out because of what I do in my free time? Fuck you! Fuck you! You motherfucker you are! Wash hands and then use sanitizer? Um... Ooh, how about if I, how about, how about, how about this? Why don't I wash my hands and then instead of, uh, when I rinse my hands off all of soap, I drain it into, a, into like a bottle and that can be like Oreo's dirty hand soap. And it might have coronavirus in there. And, and, and if there is coronavirus in there, then you, if you, by the bottle, you can say that you got coronavirus from Oreo side. Now, how many people get to say that? How many people get to go around every day and and be like, you know what? I got coronavirus from Oreo side. It's like getting coronavirus from Tom Hanks. Like that would be pretty fucking cool. I'd be like, damn, I'll get coronavirus if I can say that I got it from Tom Hanks. Same thing with Oreo side. Same level of celebrity status. All right, uh, you get coronavirus from Oreo. That is peak clout situation, my friends. That is a peak clout situation, if ever there was one. Is there a problem, sir? Well, you seem to have tested positive for marijuana, cocaine, mushrooms, LSD, meth, and bath salts. Lots of bath. No, I only, I only do, I only do the the pot marijuanas. Um, I haven't done coke in a while, honestly. But that's about it. I've never tried mushrooms. I want to do, I want to do mushrooms. I want to do LSD. I do not want to do meth. I will not do meth. Meth and heroin and um like like prescription drugs like fentanyl and all that I won't do. Um I, I just want to do like the the safe psychedelic drugs. Safe. <laughs> Penshito Woody Harrelson Oh god, Woody Harrelson's annoying. I all I all I remember of, of Woody Harrelson was when he was trying to promote his shitty fucking movie on, on Reddit. And this was back when, when Reddit was first taking off as, like, a mainstream thing, and he wanted to do, like, an AMA. And people were asking him, like, all these sorts of questions, and the only questions that he would answer were questions pertaining to the movie that he was filming. Like, he wouldn't even, like, answer any other questions. Or I, I forget what the controversy is, but everyone just, like, fucking hated him after that. And it was so annoying. It's like, hi, I'm just here to promote my movie, and I have absolutely no interest in interacting with any of you people whatsoever, even though that's exactly what I said I'd do. Like, okay, just just say that, dude. You're you're gonna get a shitty uh, shittier conversion on your like how many fucking uh, people actually respond, but yes, this is a a f big dick map 
of all the coronaviruses, and it is a live map. Um, you have to refresh the page, but it does. Um, so let's let's see what we're at now. So one twenty five eight ninety one was the last count. One twenty six ninety three. It's going up. Holy fuck! We're all gonna die. We're all we're, we're literally, actually, all gonna die. One day, not today, but one day. Or maybe some of us might die today. I don't, I don't know what the hell any of you people are doing. Maybe you're watching me while you're driving and you're going to run into a big semi. I don't know. I don't know. See, the bi here's the problem. Once, it get, once any sort of uh, virus or infection gets to either Africa or the United States or, um, like, India... It's basically impossible to fucking contain. It's basically impossible to contain, and here's why. Africa, obviously most of these countries don't really have the infrastructure to take on a, 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 a nationwide or a continental-wide pandemic, so it's going to spread. Not to mention the overall infrastructure there is going to be a lot left to be desired. So prevention, any of that shit... Pfft. Pretty much out the window. Uh, and then you have the United States. Uh, a lot of people are probably wondering, well, why, why is it so easy to spread in the United States? Because uh, here... Um, so, it's a combination of um, people don't go to the hospital because it's too expensive. And people don't take off of work because they can't afford to. And that means that people go out and they don't get tested. And they go out and they spread the virus without uh, necessarily realizing it or caring... And that's how it, that that's why this is what it is right now. Um, India, it's just very clumped. The population is very like, like there's a lot of concentrated like, um, it's very close together everywhere, and the sanitation there is you know, not the best. Um, Oh, God, for a second there, I was like, wait, does Japan not have any cases? I was like, whoa, bruh, bruh. Oh, they have the Diamond Princess boat marked on here, too. That's pretty cool. Wait. What's the difference between the cruise ship and the U.S.? So seven people died from that. Wow, what a shitty vacation they had. That's shitty. How many cases in North Korea? None. Once again, everyone, once again, you you people shit on North Korea, but there are no cases. Look at this. No cases. Not, not any at all. That's because the glorious, fearless leader, he saw the coronavirus coming and he was like, no! And he beat the shit out of it and it ran away and it never came back. So, that's how that goes. That's, that's what that's all about. People talk about, oh, North Korea is bad. You don't want to live there. Well, guess what, bitch? No coronavirus cases. Get fucked. What are you going to do about it? Oh, so basically, yeah, it's a total mess. Um, for those of you who weren't here earlier when I said it, um, uh, the CDC predicts that 50% uh, uh, of the U.S. population is going to contract this and... Um, at least a million people are probably going to die of it before all is said and done. So, uh, how's Mexico doing? Yeah, eight confirmed cases and four have recovered, so there's only four. Bruh, I think we're building the wall on the wrong side of the border. <laughs> I think Mexico needs to build a wall to keep us out, because how many cases are in the United States? Well, like over a thousand, I think, they said today. So, 1,000 versus 4 in Mexico. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I have a co-worker that, that's about to go to the Bahamas. How's the Bahamas doing? Where the fuck is the Bahamas? I don't even know where the Bahamas are. When it comes to, like, little tiny islands, I have no fucking clue. Where is the Bahamas? This is the Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico. Oh, wait, is it up here? Oh, here's the Bahamas. 
Any cases in the Bahamas? Nope. Not that I can see. Can you zoom in? Uh, I don't think it goes by city. I think it's just state. Uh, unless it's like a very specific thing. Like this is the this is another cruise ship, but then this just covers the entire state of California. And yeah, you, you zoom in on San Diego and there's nothing that pops up. Yeah, it's just by state. It would be kind of weird if they like gave you the location of all the people. It'd be like the sex offender registry, except it'd be like the coronavirus carrier registry. And nobody wants that. That's just mean. Just quarantine yourself. We don't know where you need. Where you, we we don't know where you where you live. We don't need to know that. Michigan, how many cases? Two confirmed cases in Michigan. My state of Wisconsin has six confirmed cases and one recovered. Five are active. Oh, apparently the shit's going off in New York, which again, very concentrated, tight population. That's that's gonna happen. Washington State, Seattle, very heavy concentration. Not good. Bad Bunny lives in Seattle, if I'm not mistaken, so she's probably, like, battening down the hatches right now. I haven't seen her live in a few days. I hope she's okay. Um, Iran is just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not good. Not good. Yeah, Iran, Italy, and China, and South Korea. South Korea is actually going down from what I heard. Uh, their number of cases are actually dropping last I heard. So that means that they have it contained. And a lot of what that has to do with is um, um, the fact that they, they're using like advanced technology and they're, they're like doing a lot of like hardcore testing. Wait, the NBA suspended their entire, wait, are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. The entire season. Wow. That's huge. Think about... Think about all the fucking advertising revenue and and contracts and all this other like all the all this revenue that is now just completely fucking gone because of that. That's fucking crazy. Dorothy, how's it going? Thank you. I love my haircut too. What's going hey, hey. Look at that. I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. I, I don't know. I got my hair is all who knows? That's some bullshit. That's fucking nuts. The NBA announced that a player on the Utah Jazz has preliminary tested positive for COVID-19. The test result was reported shortly prior to the tip-off of tonight's game between the Jazz and Oklahoma City Thunder at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. At the time tonight's game was canceled, the affected player was not in the arena. The NBA is suspending gameplay following the conclusion of tonight's schedule of games until further notice. The NBA will use this hiatus to determine the next steps for moving forward in regard to the coronavirus pandemic. Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. And they canceled they canceled TwitchCon EU. They canceled E3. South by Southwest is canceled. Um, a whole bunch of other shit. Like, my company had events planned in Virginia and Washington, and they're now canceled. How many cases of, uh, does Virginia have? This is, fu this is really fucking everything up, dude. Yeah, there's already cases in Virginia. Nine confirmed cases. That's just fucking insane, dude. That is just completely fucking insane. And then you look at the stock market and how this is actually affecting the economy. It gets worse. It gets worse. This is what we've been looking at for the last week or so. And this is, this is a funny part here. You see this little lump right here? 12.18 p.m., guys. Or 12.16 p.m. right here. 12, 8, okay, I guess it peaked at 12.18. 12.18 p.m. I want you to remember that time. Remember that time, 12.18 p.m. Twelve eighteen 
Twelve eighteen p.m. Everybody. Um. Where is it? Eleven hours ago. Where is it? Put it on my profile. Hold on. Because I think I retweeted it. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one right here. When the World Health Organization initially announced that this is now a, a global pandemic, 11.26 a.m., but this is... This is um, um, oh, wait, sorry. This is in response to um, something else here. 11... 16 a.m. So I'm in central time, 12, 18 p.m. That's that's Eastern time. That's where the New York Stock Exchange is. It took two minutes, two minutes for this 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 glimmer of hope right here to just go. <laughs> Year to date. Oop. This is just completely nuts. So, not good. I made money in stonks today. <laughs> I don't I can't imagine anybody who made money in stocks today, honestly. Look at this shit. Everything is down across the fucking board. S&P 500, Nasdaq, whatever the fuck the Russell 2000 <laughs> Dow, everything's da it's just it's, ooh, not good. Uh, I don't think we're at the bottom yet, though. Honestly, uh, this because I mean, even the congressional testimony by uh, uh, what's his face today, he said the worst is yet to come. And you can bet uh, once it really starts like hitting off in the United States, and we just have like a full-on fucking quarantine, like shutdown of the entire country. You can bet the market is just going to completely fucking tank, dude. It's just going to completely fucking tank. Do not invest. I have a lot of money that I'm actually waiting to invest right now until after this whole thing like kind of starts coming back. But you are right. This is this is a, a good t I mean like if you're investing in Hold on. Let me look at let me look at a uh, 3M Cause they're they're the ones that are making like all these masks and shit, so they're probably doing pretty well. Yeah. Uh. Eh, eh, shit. Maybe not. I mean, they're probably taking a little less of a hit, but they're they're taking a hit regardless. It's not pretty. Carnival cruises. <clears throat> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Carnival. What the fuck is Carnival? I'm just going to assume it's this. I don't know. Yeah, they're not doing... Eh. Eh. What's this other one I saw? Maybe it's Cuck. Maybe Carnival Corporation is Cuck. How is Cuck doing, everybody? Cuck is fucking down as well. Bleah. 3M got a big government contract. Bye, bye, bye. Did they really? Hold on. Let's go back to that. Let's, let's go right back here. Let's take a look. See. Um, 3M and the Brand Lab team up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chevron, Goldman Sachs, share gains. 3M announces investor event update. Viral video predicts stock market. Massive stock market event. Do U.S. does not have coronavirus tests to meet anticipated demand. See, it's shit like it's headlines like this that tank the fucking stock market, dude. It's crazy. Well, it's not crazy. It, it it makes sense, but it's just like Jesus fucking Christ. How much we hinge on everything. <sighs> Soon it'll be time to buy stocks when everything is rock bottom. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No disagreement there. No disagreement there whatsoever. That's just fucking crazy. 3M taps regional suppliers to meet soaring demand for masks. Oh. Uh, using skateboards to explain the face mask shortage? 
Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Now's the time. No, I. Spazzy Jump! Oh! Oh, 14 months! You s motherfucker! Thank you so much for the 14 month resub, my man. Very much appreciate it. How in the frick are you doing tonight, dude? How in the frick are you doing tonight? What's going on? Uh, I would not, Haughty, I would not buy stocks. I would not buy stocks right now. Um, according to the dude who testified in front of Congress today about the coronavirus shit, uh, he said, quote unquote, the worst is yet to come. Uh, let me see if I can, uh, Hold on, let me, f let me see if I can find a clip of this. Give me a clip! Um... Yeah, there's, uh... So yeah, with over a thousand cases now in the U.S., it's gonna get worse. So... Um, what is this? Is this a clip? Thank you for coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Robert Cadley is the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you for coming. And Dr. Robert Redfield. Why did it start out here? Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Thank you for being here today. And I don't Dr. know. That's, it's just, Rush it's crazy. Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health I'm young. How do I buy stonks? At the department. There used to be a website where you could actually simulate buying stocks. Uh, what the fuck was it? It was like in, uh, for the government. Investopedia, right? We'll begin by swearing the witnesses in, and if you will simulator, rise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your right hand. Stock you market. All right, yeah, we don't. I, I just want to hear the. I just want to hear the clip. I want to play the clip. Play the clip. Can we play the clip? Play the clip. What's this? The no, I don't want to watch your stupid fucking ad. Gives you the power to see if you can get, if you don't get in on the bottom, you'll buy close to the bottom. There is a resistance today for, to the continued drops. There is no good place to put cash except back into the market. Uh, uh, yes and no. I definitely think you can time it properly if you pay really close attention. But uh, I mean, realistically, it's right now. Now that we're in bear market territory, now would be actually a good time to buy because it we will come back from this. Um, but it's just a question of like how how much of a risk do you want to take? Cuz that that's that's really all it boils down to. Um Prestige International is the American company that makes the masks. Oh shit. Hold on, let me check that out. Prestige International. Consumer, okay, probably Prestige Consumer Healthcare. That sounds about right. Okay, well, they're not really worth jack shit in the first place. So how, how have they been doing for the last month? How about the last six months? Okay, so they peaked out on February 7th. They were pretty high up, and then they just dropped like a fucking rock. What the hell happened? That's crazy. Not bad getting ready to head out. Uh, you cover the European, the Europe and, uh, Italy, you mean? The, the quarantine? Uh, yeah, I heard they quarantine the entire country, which I don't know how the fuck that works, but hey. Uh, are you worried about the coronavirus? Um, not really. Um, if anything, I'm worried about getting it and then giving it to somebody who would be, like, more at risk of dying from it. So, like, if I got it, I could never visit my parents, um, which I don't really do anyway to begin with. <laughs> Um, that's a whole nother story. Um, yeah, uh, we actually, we covered that earlier, Marith. We, uh, like, right when Tom Hanks posted that, I was the first one to cover it. Oreo, first to the fucking punch. We covered that. Tom Hanks posted on Instagram. The, boom. Got him. We covered that. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're sending thoughts and prayers. T-H-O-T-S. Thoughts and prayers to Tom Hanks and his beautiful wife, and we hope that they make a speedy recovery and do not die, because uh, what a fucking crime it would be for him to die. He's not ready to go! It's not his time! All right? And if you don't like it, get out! Oh, Prestige Ameritech? Hold on. Prestige Ameritech. Or is it just Ameritech?
emergency and issue the highest level of travel warning on other countries as the virus spread its hor Shit. horrible infection. And taking early, intense action, we have seen dramatically fewer cases of the virus in the United States than are now present in Europe. The European Union failed to take the same precautions and restrict travel from China and other hotspots. As a result, a large number of new clusters in the United States were seeded by travelers from Europe. After consulting with our top government health professionals, I have decided to take several strong but necessary actions to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. That's gonna These restrictions will be adjusted fuck our economy, to conditions dude. on the ground. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings, and these prohibitions I mean, that's not the most not important thing, but to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. Anything coming from Europe to the United States is what we are discussing. These restrictions will also not apply to the United Kingdom. At the same time, we are monitoring the situation in China and the South Korea. And as their situation improves, we will reevaluate the on. restrictions and warnings that are currently in place for a possible early opening. Earlier this week, I met with the leader. Jesus fucking Christ. This is nuts. So now, okay, so I did not hear about that. That is just in, like, since I started streaming. Uh... Jesus Christ. Yeah, now Tom Hanks is trending on Twitter. This is just fucking... Okay, so this is really getting insane. President Trump says all travel from Europe. Hang on. Um, all travel from Europe to the United States is suspended for 30 days starting Friday. Starting Friday? Yeah, NBA is canceled. Like, they canceled all the games until further notice. Pope has coronavirus. Uh, I think Donald Trump's been sniffly. I think he's got it. Uh, he was in close proximity to people who who uh, who were in close proximity to people who had it. Oh God, why is Betty White trending? Okay. Okay, thank God. You don't get celebrities trending. You know what that does. Like, my anxiety doesn't have enough to worry about. Yeah, no, Betty White gets it. She's fucked. Imagine if, like, Ruth Bader Ginsburg gets it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This isn't good. This is not good. This is not good. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh... <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Hold on. I'm gonna put this shit down. Bruh. All right, probably not perfect, but at least it gets a green screen down. All right, yeah, no, this is, yeah, can we get Corsair to make a corona, uh, RGB coronavirus with LEDs? No, um, okay, so where, what are we, what are we at on this? By the way, if any of you guys want to look at this map that I have up, there's an, uh, another link in the chat for you guys. Um, yeah, this number is just going up. This is fucked. This is insane. United Kingdom isn't... Yeah, does that include the United Kingdom? Does that ban include that? Oh, Brexit saves them from... The, does it really? I don't know. I, I didn't hear anything about it. Um, what fucking tab do I have open here? Is it this one? There we go. All 
All right. Tom Hanks. Yeah, he test. Tom Hanks tested fucking positive. Yeah, I know. Mashed potatoes, whatever. Show it up your ass. I didn't have time to make anything else. It's fine. Lay Cristalia. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna... Look. Look. There's nothing wrong with potatoes. All right? They're delicious. They're healthy for you. And they're they're good. Okay? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, you're on, on my side. Eli Flowers. What Twitch streamer do you have a crush on? Um... Gosh, there's there's like so many that come to mind. Um, hmm. Uh, that that Nico girl that's been going viral. I would I would fucking simp hardcore for her. Oh my god, dude! I like Jesus Christ. I I would I I am not a I'm not the kind of man that simp's. All right, uh, like actually simp's. I don't. I, but I would simp for her. I know she has a boyfriend. I don't care. All right. Um, I know I have no chance with her, but I, I, I don't care. I don't care. Well, I'm not done yet, Eli. I, I, I'm starting on Nico, but I'm not done yet. All right. There's Aurora. There's S Rivs. There's Bad Bunny. There's Alinity. There's uh uh uh. I don't know if you know who La- Lana B is, but uh her. Uh, who else do I have a crush on? Um, and I, I'm I'm fully aware that I'm I'm fully aware that uh this is probably gonna get clipped and sent to all of them. That that's fine. Um, she's not 14. She's 23, dude. What are you talking about? Or she's like in her. Tw- I don't know how old she is. I didn't look or anything. I I have no idea how old she is. I have no idea. 23 is just a number I threw out there. Um, who else do I have a crush on? Uh, let me think, 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 um, like, who am I comfortable naming? Who am I comfortable naming? Is she really? (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) I didn't look! I swear to God! (laughs) There was, oh, she has an OnlyFans, she's gotta be at least 18. Or else we got oh we got talk all right. Work for support. Thank you so much, Saiga. Um, gosh, who else? Who? What other streamer do I have a crush on? Um, um, who else do I have a crush on that I am comfortable naming on stream? Uh, more proud. Whoops. I don't want to pause that. Uh, God damn it. Just fine. Uh, get the music back in the background. Boom. There you go. I didn't say comfortable. It, I said honest. Wait, wait, wait. No, you, you didn't say honest. Don't come, with, don't come at me with his honesty shit. What Twitch streamer do you have a crush on? There was no stipulation for honesty. You're thingy. Wait. Oh, yeah, 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 that I would, oh, no, you're right, 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 you win, fine, you win, you win, you win, fine, whatever, um, hold on, let me check here, who else do I have a crush on, I'm just gonna, like, scroll through my feed really quickly and just name off, like, everybody that I would totally, totally hold hands with and, and maybe possibly, like, like, hug and, and make out with. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, um, mm, I mean, Pokemon, but she kind of like, she kind of like, I don't know. I don't know about Poke. I mean, if I had the opportunity with Pokimane, would I? Yes. Um, do I have a crush on her, though? No, not really. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, a, a, a crush as defined by uh, Oreo is somebody that I would absolutely have sex with. And, like, not not necessarily, like, date seriously or anything, but just, like, boink. 
Which I, I think that's I think that's established. I think everybody's pretty um pretty understanding of that. Or pretty aware of of, of how that works. Where the fuck are all the attractive women on my Twitter? What the fuck? It's all just dudes. Apparently I need to follow more women. Or the Twitter algorithm knows that I'm doing this. Oh, no, you, you got a good list. You got a good, you got a good list. It's all right. I didn't call everybody ugly. Look, there are plenty of people that I can say are beautiful, but that I am not personally attracted to. All right. It, it, it is this the way it is? Sorry, I haven't posted on Twitter in a few hours. Eh. Now, how the fuck did I go down to 29? It was at 30. Now it's at 29. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Is that a gray hair? Hold on. Wait a minute. 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 You see that? What is that? What is that? I can't see it. That's a motherfucking gray hair, isn't it? That's a motherfucking gray hair. I think that's a gray hair. Hold on. <coughs> I think I, I think I think that's a gray hair. Dude, look at it. All right. All right. I got to go look at this. I got to go look at this. Don't don't fucking leave. Don't fucking leave. This is important. I Variety streamer, and I stream whatever the hell I want, basically. What do I like to stream, though? Uh, it's kind of it's hard to say. I mean, I've streamed things from Jumpstart Third Grade. Very fun game, by the way. Very nostalgic. Nobody, nobody looked. <clears throat> Nobody look! Like, we're just inviting so many people in. Not on purpose, like... Well, not on purpose, no. That's how, yeah. you know, Sky's community is so popular, everybody, that people haven't even heard of it, and they want to join it. Can you believe it? Incredible. <laughs> and that's kind of what this, this whole server's name is based on, too. Same name as a server. Literally, though. Yeah, literally. I, I literally made... Got him! Alright, so now we can do this. Are you fucking... This window! This window! That one! Not... Oh my fucking god. Alright! Alright! All right. False alarm. False alarm, everybody. We're all, hold on. We're good. We're fine. Everything's good. It wasn't a gray hair. We're fine. I will live to be not old another day. Thank God. Bless the Lord. Did everybody miss me? I hope everybody missed me. I don't know why the fuck you missed me, but apparently if you did, whatever. No salt and pepper here. Oh my God. The day I start salt and peppering, I'm going to buy hair dye and I'm going to dye my hair. And that's just how it's going to be. All right? Mm. No, that's, that's kind of what happens when I get my hair cut. It's like, so yeah, this hair isn't gray. We're good. It's all right. It's an early symptom of corona. Maybe I'm going to die. Oh, God, we can only hope, dude. Don't, don't tease me like that. Don't tease me like that. Someone likes salt and pepper? Yeah, but not, not the 18 and 19-year-olds that I go for. 
They only like like senior aged college dudes and maybe like a little bit older. The really messed up one. Okay, I shouldn't say that. The really um, insecure ones, like the like the thirty year olds. But you know, I will say this. Look, here's the thing. I know what I'm doing, and those little college boys that you go for don't. So that's all I'm saying. Stop. Stop left swiping me on Tinder if you're if you're younger than 23, please. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you using the standard lens on that camera? Yes, uh, it is the 16 to 50, 3.5 to 5.6 aperture kit lens on the Sony Alpha A6000. Um, yeah, it was only it was like five, four, fifty, five hundred dollars, one or the other. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's a pretty nice lens. I dig it. I love it. It's very nice. Very, very high quality, if I say so myself. Um, so let's see here. Betty. And, <sighs> All right. Let's let's see what Twitter is saying about this outbreak. What's going on here? Trump last week. It's just the flu. It'll go away. Trump today. No travel from Europe for 30 days. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised he didn't restrict uh, travel from, like, China or Mexico or the Middle East. or Because this would be, like, the perfect opportunity for him to do that. <clears throat> but whatever. Um, there's literally no justification for a blanket 30-day Europe travel ban to stop coronavirus. It's this word an arbitrary capri cap capric cap what the f fuck word is this well, that's a new one i learned something today my illiterate ass is now educated the fact that tom hanks even got tested is privilege the county health departments are still cherry picking which event which patients they let doctors test. We are under testing, don't have drive through clinics, and people are going to die due to it. Um uh, Yeah, he was in Australia, so I don't know what the fuck she's talking about privilege. But, uh, whatever. Um, governed or characterized by, uh, impulse. Oh, pff, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, in the past hour, in the past fucking hour, NBA cancels their season, Tom Hanks and, their, and his wife test positive. And flights from and or travel from Europe is banned. Seps live, how's it going? The world's fucking collapsed in the last hour, apparently, and uh, we're here to experience it live. What better place to be in than the Oreo side stream, where we give you back-to-back, -back, non-stop coronavirus coverage? All right, that's what it's all about. Let's go plague Inc. IRL. No, I was literally showing people on this map. Look at this. Fucking Madagascar, no cases. This is legit. All right. Plague Inc. is, is a legitimate fucking um, accurate simulator. That's all I got to say about that. Greenland is safe, too. No, 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 nothing going on in Greenland. Nope. All good. All good. Yeah. In fact, there's this island, this tiny little, like, know-nothing island called Reunion that has one active case right next to Madagascar. That's just fucking crazy, dude. This is, this is, this is nuts. This is insane. Who made Plague Inc.? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go slap them for taking their latest update too far. Wait, did they actually, like, do, like, a Corona... I feel like that would cause, like, a bunch of fucking controversy. I feel like... <clears throat> By the way, again, I'll ask, just as a, a, a quick aside, um, if anybody has any fucking clue how to, how to fix the sub count over there, 
Because I think we've only had like two subs this stream, but apparently it says 29 and before it said 30. If anybody knows how to do the fractiony sh shit that everybody does on, on their streams uh, on other channels, please s tell me how. Because um, right now it's broken and this is disingenuous. People aren't going to sub if they're like, oh, 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 he's got, he's got, he's got 30, uh, 25 more subs than he needs. He's good. Don't give him any money. Hey, banana! Stopped and I wasted 4,560 with my root. 4,560 with your root? Dude, that sounds fucking nuts. Thank you for the 300 biddies, though. Very much appreciate Because where it wasn't able to... The internet stopped and I wasted 4,560 with my router. Or modem getting it to work again. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ah, Intimidator, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Something's going on. But thank you for the thank you for the 300 biddies. I still got your channel up on my work computer. Um and I refresh it too to make sure it doesn't like do that network connection error thing either. So hopefully that's helping for what it's worth. Um modem and modern look so similar. Yeah, they do actually. That's kind of like um uh oh, what's the other word that does that? There's probably a few words that do that. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, Cor Ooh, look at that. Seven, seven K retweets and seven K likes. This, this is a, ba this must be a balanced tweet. Of oh fuck. It just went up to 7.1 K. Fuck. It is no longer balanced. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, well, that's fine. That's all right. We'll, we'll live. Um, Magic Johnson, why is he trending? Oh. Oh, okay, that's like an AIDS thing or HIV thing. Got it. Uh, what's going on with coronavirus? Anything new? Oh, yeah, Jared Kushner got put in charge of the fucking... Oh, Jesus. We're completely fucked. Genuine question. A lot of focus on testing for what stipulations are in place to pay for testing for the uninsured. Um, yeah, this is a good question and probably not. Probably not. And everybody's taking this opportunity. Everybody's every, everybody's taking this opportunity to get political and be like, oh my God, we need universal health care. But, uh, uh, hey, 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 God damn it. Do not scratch the chair. Get it. Not scratch the chair. What do I do? I pet him in order to show him that what he just did was good. God damn it. Not my fucking chair. Seriously. <sighs> anyway, apologies. What was I saying? Probably nothing important. Uh, who committed this atrocity? Coronavirus isn't lethal to people with healthy immune systems or anything. No, yeah. Uh, uh, the only people that this is adverse, uh, the only people that this is really taking out are uh, the elderly and those with like autoimmune disorders and like um, overall Im um, uh, uh, issues with their immune system, basically. Uh, so if you if you're not old. And you're not, uh, and you don't have any sort of autoimmune disease or disorder, then you're probably good. Violinator, what's going on? What it is, what it be? Did you feed the cat? Yes, actually, I fed the fucking cat more than he should be eating today because he was fucking crying up a storm. So I was like, fine, you fat sack of shit. Have another cup of fucking food. And I did it. 
I gave it to him. And now he's still whining and he's coming in here and he's destroying my chair. It's disgusting. Uh, stock futures dropping S&P 500 by 4.3% within the time. Oh. Oh, we got to look at that. We got to look at that. Where are we at? What's the futures look like? Um, how do you see futures data? Stock futures slump after Trump declares Europe travel ban. Yeah, that makes sense. Obviously. Um, what if we do have an autoimmune disorder? Uh, then I would highly suggest you fucking, uh, do not go outside. <laughs> do not. Uh, you will get, you will probably get the, uh, coronavirus and there is a very good likelihood that you may die from it. I am not a licensed medical professional, so please take what I say with a grain of salt. But if you are someone with some form of auto, uh, immune disorder, quarantine yourself right now. Quarantine yourself right now. What's happening? Uh, Trump made a speech and the stock markets are tanking again. You know, just typical daily bullshit. How do you see... Uh, where's the... Dow Futures. Go to Future Screener. Is that what it wants me to do? Um, This isn't it. This is what I'm looking for. Where the fuck is... <sighs> Fucking Dow Futures. Where is it? How do I... The thing. You you know the thing. You know? Alright, I guess this is from an hour ago, so let's see what this is all about. PepsiCo has taken advantage of the fear to buy up Rockstar... Oh, oh, Rockstar Energy. I was like, wait, Rockstar Games? Pepsi is buying Rockstar Games? No, you fucking idiot. Duh. Oh, shit, AMD actually fucking made money today. Man, what the fuck? AMD is fucking sitting here profiting off the fucking coronavirus and everybody else is tanking. Oh my god. No, but see, the, the big thing that people need to realize with the coronavirus thing is like a lot there's a lot of people right now going around like it's not even that big of a deal. It's not not even you no. Know, it's not even that big of a deal. Who cares? You no, know, if I get it, it's not gonna kill me. Idiot. Idiot. Please stop talking. Idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Stop. Here's the thing. Here's the deal. Here's the issue. All right. You you get it. You're probably going to be fine, okay? But you give it to someone who's elderly or has an autoimmune disorder, and you will probably kill them. That is why this is such a big deal. So please stop taking this not seriously, because this is actually very serious, okay? I know a lot of people want to say that this old media is just hyping up and... Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, motherfucker! This shit's bad! Do you honestly think that the entire world would be in on this fucking liberal media conspiracy to shit on Trump? Get the fuck out of here. Shut up. You're stupid. Pepsi gaming. Pepsi gaming. Hup, hup, hup. Let's get some, boys. That also messes with my vibe. I drink Rockstar because it's not owned by either beverage giants. Not anymore. Well, yeah. What do you expect, dude? Dude, that's, that's capitalism in a nutshell. It's literally just like... Large companies eating up the small ones until there's, like, one company that owns everything. So, like, Disney, Viacom, uh, fucking, uh, Coca-Cola, Comcast, like, all these huge, massive fucking conglomerate company motherfuckers, huge mega corporations. Eventually, they're going to eat everyone up. But don't worry. The, the free market will sort out all that, that monopoly shit. You know? That's okay. I'm not saying capitalism is bad. I'm just saying unregulated capitalism is bad. Because it is. 
And that's a fact. Just like how socialism, if left to run rampant, is bad. But we're not. I don't want to. I don't want to get too political with this stream. I'm kind of tired of the political bullshit lately. Well, I'm not tired of it, but I'm tired of like talking about it on stream because I feel like a lot of people don't don't want to hear about that too much. Um, it's so evil because both beverage giants were edging Rockstar out of the market based solely on literally shrinking the shelf space that Rockstar had in stores. Really? I mean, I believe it, but. That's, that's kind of a scummy move on their part, I would say. That ain't good. That's not good. Hold on. Uh, uh, speaking of which, uh, might as well uh, do my part and, and take place, uh, do my part for, uh, for capitalism by drinking another uh, Coke Gaming. Mmm, tasty. Good, good drinky. Very nice. Uh, one last question. How do you think coronavirus will affect the Dem primary process? Um, good question. I think... I think the DNC convention in July is probably going to get postponed or canceled. Um... I feel like a lot of states are going to pass emergency laws to allow for easier absentee voting. Or they might not just because they can use this as an excuse to, like, you know, suppress voters, which is what they've been doing anyway. Um, other than that, though, I'm not really sure about... Um, about I, I can't really make too many predictions. JK Meow, what's going on? Uh, Varlater, I'm going to read your question in a second. Hold on. Uh, why have we not heard from Bernie or Biden on Corona Chan? Uh, Bernie actually talked, uh, about it to a, a pretty decent extent over the last few days. Uh, Biden, I think he like mentioned it in talking, like in, in his speeches, but I don't really think he's hit on it too much. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not really watching Biden as closely as I am Bernie, so I could be totally off on that. Um, here's a really, really dumb question for you. Okay, well, I'm glad I waited to read it. <laughs> um, uh, which, or with Corona confirmed to be sticking around for anywhere between three to six months, should we invest in big pharmaceutical companies making soap and antibacterial whatever's in the stock market? Um, well, let's take a look. Uh, Pfizer is the big one, right? Let's take a look at what's happening with Pfizer, and that that that's usually indicative of the rest. So right now, hold on. Oh God, that's such a good trick. Thank you, Alinity, for teaching me that. Um. Uh. Uh. Okay, so, oh, you know what, Johnson & Johnson, that's the one I should be looking at. Let's look at Johnson & Johnson. So, futures, they're up slightly, but uh, overall, they've been kind of sinking just like the rest of the ship. So, over the last month, they've, you know, taken a relatively, uh, the entire market's taken a dive. Um... It's just a question of like how, so performance outlook. I don't know how they figure this out, but I guess nine months from now, it's it's gonna go back up theoretically. Um, not so much can be said about, so 3M, they're the ones making all the masks, right? All the shit. 
So short term, two to six weeks, it looks, uh, according to Yahoo Finance, for what it's worth, looks like it might go up a little bit. Midterm, six weeks, nine months. Eh, th this one's going to be a quick one. You're going to want to get in and you're going to want to get out, it seems. I am by no means a stock market expert. However, I do have a, a, a somewhat interest in financing, so I, I tend to think I know a little bit of what, what I'm talking about. But as always, take what I say with a grain of salt. Please do not... Uh, Please do your own research. Do not take my word as gospel. I take no responsibility if you lose all your fucking money. Um, the symptoms of coronavirus like pneumonia, isn't that treatable? Uh, uh, let's look at what the deal is. We'll go off of the CDC website. Symptoms. Fever, cough, shortness of breath. I think everybody's aware of that. Um, <coughs> the following symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure. So it does have a fairly long incubation period, which means you could have it now and you won't know about it until... Uh, up to two weeks from now. Like, you won't start showing symptoms until, like, two weeks from now, which is crazy. But you're still incubated, and you could still theoretically spread it. Abel! How's it going? Welcome back, my dude. <clears throat> yeah, no one... Yeah, exactly! And that's why people need to start taking this more fucking seriously. Uh, but, it, you know, prevention and treatment basically just comes... Go away! It just comes down to shit like, you know, clean your hands off and... Avoid close contact. Stay home if you're sick. Cover your coughs and sneezes. Wear a face mask if you are sick. Uh, this is a lot of people tend to fuck this up and get this wrong. A lot of people wear a mask if they're not sick, but that is not what you're supposed to do. It even says right here, if you are not sick, you do not need to wear a face mask unless you are caring for someone who is sick and they may not be able to wear a face mask. Um, face masks may be in short supply and they should be saved for caregivers. So there you go right there. Please do not panic by face masks. But if you, if you are sick, definitely this. All right. Definitely this. Anything that has a standard deviation under its true mean could rise up to 33 percentage, ba just based on regression to the mean when markets recover. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, Cause there is going to be a point where it's going to normalize and it, it's, it's going to come back up. Um, it's going to come back up. It's not going to go all the way back. It's only going to normalize out to, um, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to go all the way back up. It's going to normalize. I don't know. You know what I mean? I hate people that say the mask will protect them. Yeah, no, it won't. It won't. That, that's completely false. You know, Corona is biological war between us, China and Iran. Uh, well, that's that really that really fucking sucks for uh for Italy and and South Korea and France and and all these other countries because right now oh oh boy that 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 biological war really really got f really fucked up if if that's if that's true which uh, I'm 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 gonna say it's not <laughs> um I I do have my theories as to like how this whole thing came about. Um, as far as China goes, because part of me, part the, the, the conspiracy part of me is like, uh, what if China did this intentionally? What if they put out something like this intentionally to, to, to fuck everything up and distract everyone from how badly their economy has been performing and shit lately and to distract from like the Hong Kong protests and everything. Um, Cause this is, I mean, what the fuck is going on in Hong Kong? Does anybody remember what happened with that? Does anybody has anybody asked themselves in the last like month or so, um, how the Hong Kong protests are going? Where those ended up? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting though, isn't it? Again, total conspiracy theory. Could be totally wrong, but something to think about. Uh, do panic by toilet paper. Shit, that reminds me. How's Procter & Gamble doing? 
Procto and Gumbul. I can't spell for shit, apparently. Procto and Gumbul. Uh, uh, see, they're going down, too. They're fucking bouncy. They're like bouncy, bouncy. Boonsy, boonsy. How about um Georgia Pacific? Georgia Pacific. Wait, what? Private? Is Georgia Pacific not publicly traded? What? No. -uh. Make it the largest privately held company. Okay. Well, this was back in 2005, but still. Wow, I did not know that. That is uh, actually very interesting. Uh, where was I? But that's that's Coke Enterprises. So how's, how's Coke doing? Oh, they're also private. Okay, well, pfft, fuck that. <laughs> Jamers, how's it going, by the way? Kimberly Clark. Shit, I should look them up, too. Kimberly Clark. They're publicly traded. Let's take a look. Uh, there's only 19 cases in Alberta right now. Uh, let's confirm that. Alberta. Let's take a look. Let's let's update the map. So 126, 135 was our last number. 126, 135. We are now at the same because it actually hasn't updated. Okay. Well, uh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's take a look at Alberta here. Which one's Alberta again? This one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know we're uh, 19. Yeah, 19. Yep, that's right. You're correct. There's uh, five active cases in Wisconsin right now. Not good. Illinois has got 23 active cases. Ooh. Fire later, how are you doing over there in the UK? What do you got going on? Fire and 30, holy shit. Send some thoughts and prayers Fire Nader's way. He's going to die. God damn, boy. You're out for the count. Jesus Christ. Uh, I recently tried to get into the market for tear gas and riot gear supplies. Tear gas manufacturers are privately owned as well. Of course they are. Of course they are. Uh, thanks for giving me a laugh about the situational depression. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. Uh, it's going to get better. You know, this is, this is. A year from now, we're all going to look... You know, 40, 30, 40 years from now, when we watch a fucking documentary on, like, the 2020s, uh, this is definitely going to be a highlight of the decade because this is essentially how we kicked it off. Um, but eh, nobody's going to give a shit about it. <sighs> that far ahead. You know, uh, they're already working on, like, a vaccine and shit, so you never know. You never know. You never know. KO is the Coca-Cola company. I mean, they basically own everything that's liquid on this planet. I'm going to go play. Yeah, uh, but have fun playing video games, though, by the way, Hottie. Thank you so much again for stopping by. I was just guessing from what I heard a week ago and then doing some big brain maths. What the fuck? I'm genius. Wait, I'm happy Canada has such a limited amount of cases. Yeah, well, yeah, for now. For now. Uh, I don't know about... Uh, Oh. Don't knock on knock on wood, Seps. Knock on wood. That's all I gotta say. Look up Corona stock. Uh, do you have the coronavirus? No, but um, according to the CDC, half of America is projected to get it. So that's about a hundred and One hundred and sixty-three, almost one hundred and sixty-four million people are projected to get it, and right now, as it stands in the United States, there is a four percent mortality rate on the coronavirus. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, um, one sixty-three. 
600,000. Okay. So this is this is how many people are projected to get the coronavirus in the United States. 163.6 million, right? Times 0.04. This is how many people are projected to die in the United States from the coronavirus. 6 million 544,000 people. I'm not making these fucking numbers up, dude. I'm not making these fucking numbers up. U.S. coronavirus mortality rate. Um... Oh, where did I see this? Oh, it's a 3.4 mortality rate estimate by the WHO as of March 3rd. But it's higher in the United States due to, like, lack of testing and, and you know, proper access to healthcare and everything. That was the story that was that was uh, going around. So it's, like, between 4 and 5%. So... So CFR, that stands for, that's the mortality, or case fatality ratio or CFR mortality rate, right? So the overall uh, mortality rate varies by location and intensity. So it's 5.8% in Wuhan versus 0.7% in other areas of China. Um, For comparison, the case fatality rate with seasonal flu. This okay, so this is a comparison to the other uh, other thing, right? The case fatality rate with the, the the seasonal flu, the flu that we're all like, oh, it's basically just the flu, is less than 001 percent. Bruh. Bruh. Do you want do you want me to do some math for you right now? Do you know how much more uh deadly the coronavirus is technically by comparison? You want more more, 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 more much more? A lot! A lot! I don't know how to do the math to determine how many numbers th the thing is, but I know that four percent versus point one percent is a lot of big all right, so if I were to say the coronavirus is 10 times more deadly than the seasonal flu, that's only we're only a fourth of the way there. I, uh, it's it's 40 times more deadly than the seasonal flu. <laughs> All right, this isn't sensationalized shit. This is real, okay? This is real. Now, of course, again, it's worth mentioning that the majority of people that are going to die from this are going to be elderly or infant people or those with autoimmune disorders. And generally, like people like me are pretty safe and are probably most likely going to recover without any big deal. But still, 4% mortality rate, if half of the United States is projected to get it, that is, where is that number? Where did I, where did I, what did I do with it? Uh, okay, so, so right now the population of the United States is 327, wait, what, what, hold on, where did I, wait, 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 U.S. population, 327.2 million, right? So 327.2 million, divide by two, Okay. Let me I, just make this the right number. Divide by two times 0. 0.04. This is how many people are projected to die in the United States from the coronavirus. Six million. Six million! 544,000 people.
Yes, I'm literally looking up the fucking Holocaust death toll to compare it. I mean, yeah, it's like 11 million. Okay, so, yeah. Fair. But you can tell your friends. You can tell your friends, all right? Uh, 6544... Zero, 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 divided by... So this, this coronavirus, ladies and gentlemen, is literally 9-11 times 2,184. All right? Bruh. That's pretty... That's not... Ooh, boy. Probably closer to 350... Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Um... Hold on, how, how old was that data, actually? Oh, 2018. Uh, I don't think it went up 25 million in, in two years. There is a fucking census this year, so we're probably going to find it. Well, okay, I guess we can look here, the, the clock. Oh, so it's only like 329 million right now. And this is the census.gov population clock, so I would, I would probably go off of this. But yeah, you're... Yeah. So, okay. All right, let's let's take this number. Let's let's entertain ourselves. So, 329,384,100, right? Div uh divide by 2. Okay? And then take this number times 0 0.04. So, 6,587,000 or 6,000,000 587,000 people are proje uh, projected to die from this. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too. Uh, you're absolutely right. Like, homeless people aren't counted in the census, and, and I mean, you know, like, undocumented immigrants as well. Um, at least I don't think they are. Or some of them are, but some of them aren't. Some of them just, like, don't do it because they're undocumented. I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But how is this for a conspiracy? One birth every nine seconds, one death every 11 seconds, nine, 11, nine, 11. Bruh. That's... <sighs> Bruh. That's crazy. Dude, I need to get my tinfoil hat. <laughs> Damn it, I had tinfoil around somewhere too so I could put that shit on my head. Fuck. Okay, but no, seriously. Um, So, what is my source on the CDC? So, CDC projects 50% coronavirus... United States, that should be enough keywords. Uh, okay, here we go. Total cases, so right now, um, this is outdated, actually. Close up by 4 p.m. the day before reporting. Okay, yeah, so this is outdated. All right, so 938 with 29 total deaths, right? Okay, so right now, that makes, it's probably going to be low. Uh, divide by tw Oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. Did I do that wrong? 29 divided by 938. So, okay, so times 100. That's already a 3% mortality rate. What is the mortality rate of smallpox and SARS? Uh, good question. Smallpox mortality rate. What is that? The overall is about 30%. Okay, so smallpox is very fucking deadly. Um, ordinary type confluent is fatal about 50 to 75% of the time. Holy shit.
Can you imagine if there was a smallpox outbreak in the United States under the Trump administration? Bruh. Drunken Billy Goat, how's it going? Um, SARS, what's the SARS mortality rate? Oh, Jesus. All right, let's search for, what was it, CTR? Or how about fatality? Case fatality ratios, page four. Oh, I can't click on it? Fuck. Um, God damn, it's got to be easier. Google, you're supposed to have a a, a, a a thing. You're supposed to do a thing. Oh, did it, oh, no, this is 2.3 death rate on, on COVID-19 patients. Excuse me. Oh, here we go. How come, how the coronavirus compares to SARS, swine flu, Zika, and other epidemics? Um Okay, so MERS 34%, SARS epidemic which killed around 10%. Okay. So the mortality rates a lot higher for for well for SARS it's over double. Um and for MERS it's, you know, quite a bit. But um I mean, I, well, well, we can even look at this, right? So let's let's update this right now. Let's let's take a look. Total numbers. What do we got? So it still hasn't updated from what we last saw. So four. So four six three zero oh, divided by one two six one three five. Is this active cases? I hope it's active cases. Okay, so yeah, right now this right now globally we're sitting at a 3.67 mortality rate for um for the coronavirus. You could die to anti-vaxxers. Smallpox vaccine was first introduced in 1796. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if smallpox ever broke out in the U.S., it would be all the anti-vaxxers that would fucking die. Actually, you'd see a lot of a lot of those motherfuckers start getting shots real quick. Because once actually confronted with an actual pandemic that'll fucking kill them, you bet they're gonna get their shots. No, no more rubbing oregano on your under your fucking tits to to cure your ailments. No, you're gonna go see a fucking hospital. You're going to go see a doctor and get them goddamn shots, boy. Uh, everyone who got the vaccine will be just vibing and the anti-vaxxers will be losing their shit. Yeah, where are the anti-vaxxers right now? I have not heard jack shit from the anti-vaxxer movement. What's a big uh, anti-vaxxer... Uh, anti-vax organizations... Let me see here. Who are, who are some prominent anti-vaxxers? Is Jim Carrey still one? Or who is his wife? Or what the... what? Oh, this site's a fucking stupid virus. That site got hacked. Um, okay, let's see. The majority of anti-vax ads on Facebook are funded by just two organizations. Study finds... Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s World Mercury Project and Larry Cook's Stop Mandatory Vaccinations bought 54... Okay. All right. Uh, World Mercury Project. Do they have a Twitter? Apparently this is it. And they don't tweet. Okay. Well, how about uh, Stop Mandatory Vaccinations? Or has the complete idiocy of the world not found its way to... Tw oh, wait. Of course it has. What am I talking about? Everyone's dumb as fuck on Twitter. 
Ha! Ha! That's funny. That's funny. That's fucking hilarious right there, dude. That is fucking hilarious. I'm trying to look up anti-vax shit and Twitter is just like, BAM, BITCH! Here's some facts! What are you gonna do about it? That's fucking funny. That Good for Twitter. Good for Twitter doing this. Let me, uh, anti-vax, I'm just gonna search anti-vax. Um... All of these are parody accounts. God damn it. Oh, wait. This person isn't. What, 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 what's this person tweeting out? This person doesn't tweet. God damn it. Or wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. Coronavirus fears push Peter Rabbit to premiere to August. All right. This is officially gone to. Yeah. Nope. We're done. Now, now we're in the fucking red zone, folks. Peter Rabbit 2 got pushed out. Man, this is fucked up. Blech. This is bullshit. What the fuck, dude? If my best friend gets to the coronavirus, we're calling it the Cabronavirus. Jesus fucking... Oh. Okay, I'm over that one. Uh, that one definitely took a lot out of me. Um, yeah, this is true. Big dick men are always quiet. That's why I'm really quiet. <laughs> I'm just scrolling through like some random person's Twitter that had anti-vax in their bio. Yeah, I don't see anything like bad here. I'm just gonna it's probably a parody or some shit. Um. The anti-vax moms. This has to be a parody. What the fuck is this? I don't know. This is this is this is no. Okay, did Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh shit, this is like the official anti-vax. But they don't tweet. Thank God they only have 73 followers though. Fuck. I wonder if Twitter like cracked down on on anti-vax shit. I hope I'm, I'm, they probably did. I wouldn't blame them. Anti-vax potato. Nice. All right, so there's not really much anti-vax bullshit on uh, on Twitter. I guess I saw that Betty White was trending. Yeah, I know. I saw that earlier. I was like, Brr. Tina Fey. Why is Tina Fey trending? What the fuck happened with her? Uh, who the fuck cares about? Does anybody? Okay. All right, does anybody give a fuck about the mass Singer? I don't either. What's next? Mark Cuban, what the fuck's wrong with him? Oh, he's going right to the fucking executive board, dude. Damn, Mark Cuban is not happy about that. He's not happy. Oh wait, this is a better better one. Oh Do you see my question from earlier? Uh Oh, I'm sorry. Uh no, I haven't seen Joe Rogan in a while. I have not. Um I heard he did have somebody on about the coronavirus stuff though. Mark Cuban says he's going to put a program in place to take care of Mavericks concession workers and others making hourly pay who lose work time due to NBA coronavirus shutdown. Hey, good for him. Good for him. I like that. Good for him. Um, pandemic. Oh, God. I know what this is going to be. I know what this is going to be. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Donald Trump is stupid. We all got that. Breaking news. Oh, okay. Harvey Weinstein, Tom Hanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. NBA will suspense. A lot. This has been a fucking eventful ass day. Um. Oh, did you? Oh, did you link the? Yeah, you did link the clip. I'm such a fucker. 
Or is it? Hold on. I'm going to find it. System. Okay. This is where you came in. YouTube. Be careful. Coronavirus. Through the microphone into our ears. Um, holy shit. There's like a whole thing of, of chat that I missed. The fuck? Oops. Oh, here it is. Here it is. The oh, God. It's 15 minutes long. Oh shit. Um what's the what's the what's the uh oh you think this you think I have a lot of tabs open? Shit, you should fucking see uh um my other my other thing that I got up. I also got this window on, on the other window. I got all my all my shit up here. <clears throat> this ain't nothing compared to my work computer though. I got a lot of tabs. I also have 32 gigs of RAM in this computer, so that's, you know, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I got this. Don't worry about it. Try this one. All right, what's this one? Good, I like short. All right, let's watch together, everybody. Or wait, before we watch together, let me pause the fucking music, and now let's watch together, and then get copyright striked by Joe Rogan for playing this. Play the video! The Joe Rogan experience. How yeah. long does it take to develop a vaccine for this coronavirus? Well, you know, uh, when I'm asked that question, I, I, I don't mean to sound glib again, but I can... Hey, they have the same mics I do. The question is, is it safe and effective? Mm. And that's the challenge. We have right now questions about how do you make community to a coronavirus and what kind of vaccine do you have to have that brings in all mic. the different parts of the immune system. So we don't know that yet. So some of this research is going to have to be basic to that. The second thing we have to worry about is safety. Um, there's a condition in humans called antibody-dependent enhancement, ADE. And it turns out that if you have no antibody or an immune response, you'll get the disease. If you have a lot, you're protected. But if you have this in-between level and then you get the disease, it actually enhances the disease immune response that's really destructive. And, in fact, there was just a... a a couple of years ago, a major recall of dengue vaccine, a type dengue. of vaccine from mosquito infection in the Philippines, where kids who got the vaccine actually made just a little bit of this antibody. Oh! 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 420 Blaze! <laughs> oh my god! Manic, thank you so much for the 420 biddies. Bro, we're gonna smoke that weed now. Mm, very nice. This is your COVID-19 uh, vaccine in emote form. Stay healthy, brother. Thank you so much, Manic. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated, Manic. Sicker. You sexual and beast. so we found with the 2003 SARS vaccine that there was an ADE component to it when we made it in animals. And so we're going to have to really study this to be sure it's safe. And as you said earlier, you know, we can surely make... Oh, uh, just to quickly interrupt, uh, I saw that there was a story floating around earlier today that there is a science lab that is offering $4,000 to anybody who is willing to be injected with the coronavirus so that they can research um, so that they can research it and, and uh, develop a vaccine for it. Um, so if anybody wants a quick 4K... <coughs> mistakes we don't you know we need to do everything we can not to and so i think between getting the effectiveness and the safety data together we're we're years out i mean maybe years, two years. yeah this is not going to happen soon oh um, shit it, you know it's wishful thinking you know every time i mean i go back to sars in 2003 and look at every event zika 2015 we said oh we'll have a vaccine for it in no time here we are five years later and we have no vaccine and so this is one of the challenges we have we have to complete the job you know, it's like we start on something and then we forget that it's important because it kind of goes away for a while, but only to come back. And so this is part of that picture we talked about. And this is what Peter Hotez talks a lot about. You know, we got to finish the job on these things. You know, I worry that we'll get through this situation and then people say, oh, we're done. And then we'll forget until the next one comes along. And so, so this is where vaccine research and development is really important. How do they test for safety? So once they... Come, come up with a potential vaccine, how do they make sure that it's safe? Well, you do it gradually. First of all, you put it into animals to see, and you know enough about them, how their immune response is, what do they do? Then you put it into a Yeah, you do animal testing first. Yeah, that's, I think that's common knowledge. To see what kind of reactions they have. 
Why don't we just take really bad people that are in jail and practice on them? Well, I I don't know if that's doable here in this country without their... Bruh, that's some Nazi shit, Joe Rogan. That's some Nazi shit you're proposing right there, bruh. So I'll, I think I'll just Trump run. can fix that. If anybody <laughs> yeah, if Trump. have a shot at doing that with any president, it's Trump. <laughs> just start with rapists. True. Yeah. So anyway, the bottom line, though, is, is that then they gradually work their way up to larger studies where, you know, if something happens one every thousand people, you have to study a lot of people before you know that the chance that you might find that. Right, you can't do it right. on 30 people. Yeah, so let's give it to Harvey people. Weinstein. And, uh, you know, they'll test it on more and more people. And they're going as fast as they can. Actually, he'd be a pretty good uh, test subject because he's in he's in that uh, age range where he'd probably die from it. So, eh. It's not like there's anybody dragging their feet. It's just that, you know, I jokingly say it's like uh, if the Iowa farmer wanted to harvest his corn in half the time, it doesn't mean by planting twice as many acres he can do that. Right. You know, plant in, in April, you still can't harvest till October. That's a good point. Th- that's what this is. Mm. It's going to take us this long to get this vaccine. <laughs> well, for fuck's sake. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? It's gonna be, we're like two years out from a vaccine. Will you survive? Or will you die? Eh, you'll, you'll all probably be fine. It's all right. No problem. What's this? Uh, uh-oh. What? What you talking about, Willis? I'm super busy, so I need to pass my test. Yeah, I'm super busy, too, so you can, can I skip this ad so we can watch the good shit? Some of the good stuff. Lab is scrambling to get a COVID-19 vaccine out and on the market, and it's a race against the clock. But every day, Inovio Pharmaceuticals is getting closer to releasing this urgent medicine, and we had the opportunity to go into the lab to learn about. This was on brain. February 11th, by the way. The eyes of the world watching and waiting for what comes out of this lab. Inovio Pharmaceuticals in Sorrento Valley taking on the crucial task of creating the COVID-19 vaccine. They've done it before for Zika and for the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, known as MERS, even a vaccine for Ebola. It's something we are trained to do and to say, oh, the infrastructure's here and the expertise is in-house. This was actually published uh, data from the Chinese scientists. When Chinese scientists the released the virus's virus sequence here. on January and, 19th. Uh, what they did, they isolated it and then they sequenced it. Inovio researchers got to work and within three hours, they had a vaccine. We have three a- hours? Designed, really? Basically put that sequence into a Hold up. Algorithm and come up with our DNA medicine in that short amount of time. Yes, it only took three hours for these smart minds to come up with what may stop the global spread of a deadly virus that has all but turned major neighborhoods in China into ghost towns. With ten- See, and you, you communists in the chat, you, you fucking authoritarian, dictatorship-loving communists in the chat think that we should just scrap all this and 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 go to a, a, a Medicare for all system that wh- how are you gonna pay for that do you know that that you're that 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 we're gonna have to raise taxes 500 million percent on anybody making more than twelve dollars a year to pay for that? And did you know that 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 when when we put the, that into place, the government's gonna just be like, you know what, uh, this person let them die. This person, uh, they can live. There's gonna be deciding who lives and who dies, just like the insurance companies do now. Anyway of thousands in quarantine and suffering from this virus the urgency of what these researchers are doing is not lost here we're really laser focused on this one um, right now so this is the plasmid production dr trevor smith takes us into the lab to show us how they're creating this vaccine so it all starts with this very tiny amount yeah that's true this billionaire over here yeah yeah yeah. we'll give him the vaccine uh but you with the terminal cancer Oh, I, mm, I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. You're you, mm, sorry. We can't treat you. There's there's nothing we can do. Uh, why don't you come back when you have a couple uh billion dollars to 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 spend uh to to pay for this this treatment? 
Yeah, the board of directors over at at Aetna or uh, over at Blue Shield. Yeah, they said uh, you can't afford this, so we're just gonna tell you you're gonna fucking die. Don't go get a second opinion. Just die, you poor piece of shit. Fuck you. Of DNA. That's our superior American system right there. And there's an easy solution to that. Look, you don't you don't wanna you don't wanna die? You don't want you don't wanna be poor and die? There's a really easy solution. Why don't you just become rich? Just go out and 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 work hard, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, and in like like two days you'll be fucking you'll be a billionaire. Why the fuck are all you liberals complaining? Why don't you just go get a job? Just just go get a job and be rich. I personally, I personally, uh, as a white cishet male, uh, I personally have never encountered any sort of hardship uh, or any sort of uh, incident that involved me not getting medical coverage. So I honestly don't understand why all these other people are complaining. My anecdotal experience applies to everyone, so I don't know what the fuck these other people are complaining about. This is just dumb. This is just dumb. Just just go do what I did, because you have the same exact uh, opportunities and ability to, to, to accomplish those opportunities as, as I do. And if you don't think that's true, then you're probably a racist against white people. They want what they call DNA medicine to multiply in dishes, vials, and vats where yeast and bacteria all mix together to make even more... You know, it's going to sound funny. I haven't played Last of Us, but I've actually watched a full playthrough just because it was back when I didn't have a PlayStation. And I was like, you know what? Everybody's fucking talking about this game and I don't have the money to like actually go out and buy it. So let's. Uh, I'm going to watch a, a playthrough. But yeah, you're right. Medicine. And that's what's inside this brown liquid, which then turns into a pain. Coke! They're injecting people with coke to cure the virus! We did it! We did it! We got them, boys! We got them! Coke cures the virus! Coke cures the virus! Do we... Did, did, did the coronavirus just get partnered? Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, gee, oh, oh my god. We figured it out, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Coke cures the coronavirus. Everybody go to the store right now and buy Coke. Mmm. Oh boy, it tastes like not infected. Wow. <laughs> oh, the Modelo virus? Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to drink Pepsi for that. Oh, God, burp, you bitch! And that's what's happening now. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Vaccine has been tested on mice and guinea pigs, then it'll be tried on a group of human patients. So how exactly does this vaccine work? Say it's like a piece of biological software. Meaning it would give your body instructions what? to create the proper attack. It's like a biological software that'll give your body the abil the, the know-how to attack. That's what every vaccine does! In the form anyways. Of cells and antibodies against COVID yeah, bro, Windows on people. 19. And if all goes as planned, clinical trials in Just humans, please don't do Windows 10 on people because I don't want Windows 10 installed on me. And by the way, Inovia was awarded a $9 million grant to help develop this vaccine. $9 million. And to think that we could have used that money to feed homeless people. Blah, disgusting. Yeah, nine million isn't really a lot. Oh, you think nine million is not a lot? Do you have nine million dollars? Do you have nine million dollars? No, but it's not a lot for this. A lead researcher has been in Sweden meeting with the World Health Organization. I swear to God, sometimes I, 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 my biggest fucking adversary is myself. 
plan of attack against this COVID-19. I argue with myself more than I argue with other people. I don't care about the weather in San Diego. I'm going to be going back there probably in September. So, because who knows? Maybe TwitchCon US gets canceled too. Fuck if I know at this point. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Because uh, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out like a week or two before TwitchCon. And guys, Oreo wants to play some Cyberpunk, all right? And he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to get on a plane and go to TwitchCon and talk to greasy, sweaty people that smell like B.O. Are you kidding me? Disgusting. Get that shit out of here. I want to play some Cyberpunk 2077. That's what you guys are going to want to tune in on this stream to play. That's what it's all about. Oreo, why aren't you playing Warzone? Uh, because I don't do Battle Royales, bruh. Unless somebody really talks me into it. But yeah, everybody's probably playing Warzone right now. It better not though. I want to go. I do too. I want to go to TwitchCon really bad. I fucking loved it last year, and last year was my first year at it, and it was great. And this year, uh, now I have like experience under my belt, so I can be like, <laughs> yeah, this is my this isn't my first TwitchCon, but like, uh, you know, I kind of I kind of know like. Uh, 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 yeah, I think they're canceling, like, pretty much every event uh, that's, like, three or four months out. So once we get around to June or July, we're going to find out if TwitchCon US was canceled. Is this Oreo side? I haven't seen you before. Are you new here? Uh, yeah, no, I am I am, uh, I am. am the new Oreo side. I, um, uh, here's what's new about me. The Oreo side 2.0 patch update. Uh, here's the patch notes. Uh, number one. Um, uh, more Coke gaming. Uh, number two, less, um, less heterosexuality. That's, that's a good one. Uh, we fixed a bug where, uh, Oreo had hopes and dreams for his, for his failing Twitch channel. Uh, now he just has accepted it. And is okay with it, and and that's just how it goes. Um, I'm holding out on buying my con tickets, waiting for COVID to tell me to save my money on travel insurance. Now, honestly, if you do want to go somewhere, though, now would be the time to book a flight, because flights are hella cheap. Let me actually look at how much... Uh, oh, God. Uh, let me look up how much flights are right now. How much are flights... From how much is a how much would San Diego cost me to fly there? San Diego. I'm just gonna put in Milwaukee. I don't live in Milwaukee. I'm just putting that to cover up my real location. Cause I don't want you guys to swat me. Really? You're gonna go by day? Dude, what wait? Dude, 157. Oh my god. No way. Oh, it gets more expensive as farther out it gets. Okay, so TwitchCon would be when is TwitchCon? TwitchCon 2020. Oh. Um September 25th, 27th. So the 24th is going to be the partner party. Probably. So, okay, good. I can fly out on the 23rd. How long does it go till? Sunday? So I fly out on the 28th, or I could fly out on the 29th and save like 30 bucks. Damn, that's pretty cheap. Ah, that's pretty cheap right there. Wait, Frontier? What the fuck? Oh, God, seven-hour flight? Wait, how long is this shit? I have a 16-hour layover? Are you... F oh, okay, that's why it's so cheap. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. 
You live in Wisconsin. I'm no linguist, but come on, no that. I, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Get laid somewhere there, dude. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I'm. I would definitely wander around Denver. Yeah, but I would have like nowhere to go in Denver. I'd have to carry my bag everywhere, and I, I'd feel self conscious walking into like stores and shit with a big bag, because I'd be like, um, they'd probably think I was like stealing or some shit. I don't know. That's long enough for puss puss. All right, Mecca, listen. I, from from the point of first contact till the point we fuck, I think my quickest turnaround with a girl was It was multiple days. It was multiple days, all right? I can't seal the deal in less than 24 hours from from the point of first contact. Uh, that's that's not realistic for me. I am not that smooth. Oh, fuck. The count went up. We're all going to die. We're all going to die, bitch! Go to Denver DMV and get a BJ in the back. What? In the back of a PT Cruiser? What sick fucking fantasies you got going on, Varlene? What the fuck's the matter with you? In a PT Cruiser? It's disgusting. That is absolutely fucking disgusting. Oh, my God. Okay. Can somebody explain to me why PT Cruisers exist? Can somebody explain to me what motherfucker over at, what is it, Chevy or Cat? Oh, Chrysler. Can somebody explain to me what the fuck was wrong with the... That's actually not, not that lame. That's like peak meme of the PT Cruiser right here. See, all right, look. <clears throat> Here's the thing. There are vehicles that you buy when you have the luxury of choice. And then there are vehicles like the PT Cruiser where you need a car and you don't have the luxury of choice because your finances are eh. And you want something that's going to be reliable but you don't have the luxury of being able to be like, no, 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 I don't want a PT Cruiser. I want something that's not complete trash. So you have to get, you get a PT. This is not a car that people choose to buy. This is a car that people who are desperate and down on their luck buy when they don't have any other option, all right? There's a few other vehicles that are like that that I can't think of right now. Google Consumer Reports PT Cruiser. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? Do I want to know? Oh, God, this will be a good read. Yeah, it's a car that's forced upon you. Exactly. Um... All right, what does it say? This tall front-wheel drive wagon dressed in retro rod sheet metal has a versatile interior, easy access, and secure, predictable handling. Acceleration is anemic with its naturally aspirated engine, especially with the automatic, but a good deal better with turbocharged... <laughs> There's turbocharged PT Cruisers?! Oh, my God. Okay, anyways. Uh, a wide turning circle hinders maneuverability. The ride is somewhat stiff and the cabin a bit noisy. Plus, fuel economy was never that great. A convertible version was offered from 2005 to 2008, but wind noise was very pronounced. The PT Cruiser was discontinued after the 2010 model year. Thank God. Look at the average retail price. Wait, is this like brand new MSRP? 
No. No. No way. <clears throat> oh, I guess like what was the what was the MSRP on a PT cruiser? Okay. That's that's more realistic. Yeah, I, I was like there's no way a brand new PT cruiser is less than five thousand dollars. You find me a fucking brand new car that's less than five thousand dollars. Find a convertible PT cruiser in hot pink, I dare you. Found it. Should I buy it? Should I complete the meme and should I buy it? There you go. Boom! Pepto Bismol PT! Boy! Pepto Bismol, let's get a sponsor. Oh, God. Did they make a. L oh. Oh. Dude. I guarantee you the guy that rented this limousine for prom, the girl that he brought to prom broke up with him on the fucking spot. I guarantee fucking to you that. Check your DMs. Oh, no. What happened? What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Who owns that? I, j I need to know. I need to know who owns this car. <laughs> Whoever drives this car fucks. All right. Whoever drives this car is guaranteed a lifetime of unlimited high quality pussy for the rest of their lives. Like... They probably don't even have time to drive the car because they're constantly inside of a woman. There are no words. There are absolutely no words. This is my future car right here, boys. This is what it's this is what it's all about. Taxes to help pay for COVID-19 vaccine. Wait, what? Can see you driving SRVs around in that? No, SRVs would not fucking ride around in a PT cruiser with me. She would not ride around in this PT cruiser. Well, is she live right now? I want to ask her. I'm gonna interrupt her stream. I'm gonna be like, "Come to my stream. Would you? Would you fuck in this car?" <laughs> uh. Oh, of course she's fucking sitting on her phone while she's streaming again. God damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Ta highlighted messages or taxes. Wait, what? Oh, I don't... Okay. Oh, I get it. No, those are clout coins. Those are Those are clout coins. That's what those are. Bro, I just check out what I just redeemed. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna end the stream, but that's a possibility. Who's got five million points? We'll end the motherfucking stream. Dude, since I pulled up the pink PT cruiser shit, I lost two followers. <laughs> I don't know why, but that I'm I just noticed that. I'm 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 drawing a fucking conclusion that that might have something to do with it. <laughs> that's that's great. Oh my god. <laughs> uh Coke gaming with 5 million clout coins, dude. You've only got 31,000. Well, come on, you got to save that shit up so you can shut down my fucking stream. You got to save that shit up. All right, what was it? Oh yeah. Where are we at? How many people are dead? 
Um, do we have any? Oh, did this number ever move? I've only been looking over here. I think this number went up. I think we had another death. Biological machine. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to call you Mac. That's right. Sorry. Mac! How's it going? Um, I only have 3.4, but to be fair, I'm that cryptid that occasionally. Who will be the first streamer with CV? With what? Cash value? Concurrent viewership? Doesn't that CCV? But what? What? Bruh, y'all are confusing me. Y'all are confusing me. And just so everybody is aware... Oh, Mikey, uh, this is a good question for you. Don't leave. You're, you're, you're probably not going to leave, but I have a question. Um, hold on, let me... Okay, uh, question. Uh, so, over there, you can't... Hold on. Right here. Uh, I'm trying to do the sub fraction thing that like everybody and their mother has on their fucking streams now. Like I'm very behind the trend uh, as usual. But I'll tell you this much right now. I did not get 29 subs this stream. All right. What I did was uh, I pulled from um, hang on. La -de -do -de -do -de -do. La -de -do. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay. So right here, session subs. I don't know if you know anything about this. Holy fuck, that was... Okay, so I'm pulling from session subscriber count. Okay. But well, it's telling me that my session subscriber count is 29, which is false because I've only gotten like two resubs this entire stream. But my session subscriber count is not... Well, what, what about session subscriber score? What's the... 49? That doesn't make any fucking sense. What are you fucking talking about? 30 day subscriber count 75 makes no sense this this is I am seriously considering switching to stream elements I'm not gonna lie like this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever Tesla wait all right hold on Session restarted. Hold on, let me switch this back to, um... Let me switch subscriber count. Why is it 29? It's not 29. Session implies since I went live two hours and 45 minutes ago. I have gotten... I can even fucking show you right here. Right here. Since I started streaming... Two hours ago. Oh, no, there was three. I apologize. There was three. Cyberbard, Lexigirl, and Spazzy Jeff. They all resubscribed. So that's three. That's not 20. Fine. Whatever. I don't care. We're all gonna die from the fucking coronavirus anyway. Oh yeah, Mikey, were you here earlier when I when I ran the math? So this number right here, six million five hundred and forty four thousand. That's how many people are going to die in the United States of coronavirus. 
And then the only reason I took it divided by 2996 is because that's the death toll of 9-11. So that I could say uh, the coronavirus is 9-11 times 2,184. 9-11 times a billion. But yeah, this is this is how many... this is Because the mortality rate, give or take, is about 4% right now. Um, worldwide... Like, just taking these two numbers, um, 3.67%. And I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit higher in the U.S. because of how fucking poorly everything is being managed. But that's my stand. So you take the U.S. population, the projected... Uh. Uh, the projection from the CDC is that 50% of the United States... We'll get the coronavirus. I don't know what the, over. I don't know how over how many months or whatever. Um, but at some point, fifty percent of the country is going to have gotten it, right? So that's about one hundred sixty-seven million people. You take that times four percent, and you get six million five hundred six point five million people. And uh, to everybody that says that this is. Um, not, or this, oh, it's just the flu. Uh, oh, what, what fucking tab did I have open? Yeah. Uh, the case fatality rate with the seasonal flu that everybody says this is just like is less than 0.1%, which means that this, this coronavirus is actually f more than, or about 40 times 40 times deadlier than the seasonal flu. Now, again, bear in mind, this is going to target like mostly elderly people and those with autoimmune disorders, but my point stands. Still, that's a lot of people that are going to die. It's so graceful for the government to extend mild fee waiving in this time of extreme tragedy. I know what 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 fucking generous uh generosity we have flowing through the government you know what i mean 20 times more at two percent well yeah and 40 times more at at four percent mortality rate yeah so I, I think i did my my math properly i think so maybe possibly uh they'll change their tune most of our government is the elderly true true have you guys looked at the fucking uh demographics for who's voting in the democratic primaries have you guys seen this shit? Uh, it's like all old fucks voting for Biden and all young people voting for Bernie. The only problem is, is that all the old people are retired and they have nothing better to do, so they just go out and vote. And all the young people, they're still working and they're generally more apathetic to go vote because they're already worked to death as, as it is and they don't want to stand in a line for for eight hours waiting to fucking vote because they closed down a bunch of polling places so there's only one available in like a a, a, a 50 mile radius i feel like there should be term limits no way someone should be in power for like 30 years i mean yeah i agree i absolutely agree with that i think i think uh congressional term limits should be 16 years I think it should be two two presidential terms. And that's it. Maybe 20 years. Eh, let's make it a solid 20. That way everybody gets two and a half presidencies to touch their dicks on. 20 years. That's what I would call. <clears throat> Actually, uh, well, 20 years or 12 years? Maybe 12 years is better. I don't know. Somebody did some research into this and, and figured out the best number. Or like the average or, or something. I started low-key saying that coronavirus is the term limit. Like, mama nature ain't having none of their shit anymore. Um, I mean, look, it's true. Uh, the coronavirus is killing off a lot of fucking boomers. All right? And I think um, as this evolves... It's going to definitely affect turnout at the polls. 
and hopefully it affects the old people turning out. Hopefully they don't turn out. Hopefully it's all the young motherfuckers that turn out to vote. But uh, that's not really the case right now, unfortunately. I know Washington, like, hold on. Democratic primary. Oh, wait, I Googled this already. Uh, results. Yeah, so Bernie's. Everybody's like, oh, Bernie should drop out. But it's like, look. You need almost 2,000 and Biden's almost halfway there. But Bernie's like not really that far behind him. And once he's in a 1v1 debate with Biden on Sunday, that could very well... Uh, eh, who am I kidding? Bernie's fucked. He's going to get fucked just like he did in 2016. <sighs> Bernie needs to have some fucking teeth. He needs to fucking tear into Biden. I'm getting real tired of him fucking pussyfooting around like going on the offensive okay so Washington uh, I don't know what the turnout really was but uh, okay I guess Biden won Washington too not sure how that fucking turned out how the f like seriously who the fuck this is how uneducated our fucking voting population is Elizabeth Warren dropped out of the race a week ago and a hundred and almost a hundred and thirty thousand people still fucking checked her name off on the on the on the ballot. Like I understand that they already had all these printed before any of these candidates dropped out, so they can't just like take them off once they drop out. I understand that. But you watch the news, right? You're aware that fucking Elizabeth Warren dropped the fuck out, right? And you realize that if they don't get fifteen percent of the vote, they don't get any fucking delegates in the state, right? Right? Some people mail, but oh, you're right. That's true. But 120. Ah, uh, uh, maybe you're right. That might be mail ins. But if it's mail in. <laughs> How early can you mail in a ballot in Washington? How early can you mail ballot in Washington state. <coughs> Here we go. Oh, wait, what did it say? At least 18 days before each election. At least 18 days. So it could be more days. So that means that people voting were probably basing this on, like, February 21st shit. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's all of them, just that someone could have potentially voted and mailed before she dropped out. See, I think... <sighs> God, our election system is so fucking garbage, dude. Like, how does that make any fucking sense? Like, I feel like if... Hypothetically... Well, not hypothetically. This actually happened. But I feel like if Elizabeth Warren drops out and you've got uh, 130,000 people that voted for her on absentee ballots, somehow you counted these. So you know the people that filled these out and you, and you should like, I don't know, reach out to them and be like, hey, so we saw you voted for Warren, but uh, she since dropped out. Would you like to change your vote? Or would you like to abstain? Or would you like to keep it? Or wh what would you like to do? I, I definitely... Now, I know contacting 130,000 people probably isn't going to be the easiest fucking thing either. Um... But we had this, this is a very this is a very naive uh, statement that I'm gonna make. Misty with the host, thank you so much. How are you doing tonight? Uh, this is this is uh, this is gonna be a very naive take from Oreo, but um, you have 
you have uh, all these people that mailed in ballots, right? And it's Washington State, so I'm going to assume, for the sake of argument, that these ballots were all electronically um, calculated. I'm going to assume that. I could be fucking wrong. In fact, I probably am, but bear with me. So you have all these ballots electronically counted, and... It's, it's an absentee ballot, so somewhere on it is the home address and the name of the person that cast their vote, right? Maybe there's an email address. Is it not possible, theoretically, theoretically speaking, that you could, in addition, because, again, the DNC, collect, uh, every, every, uh, uh, political party collects shit tons of data on their voters, okay? So they've got names, physical addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, the whole shebang, right? So you're telling me that they couldn't just generate a fucking Excel spreadsheet of every single email address and every single phone number and every single mailing address of of all of these 130,000 people Email would be easy. All you do is send out a fucking mass email through like MailChimp or some shit and just be like, hey, uh, we noticed you voted for Elizabeth Warren. Would you like to change your vote? Uh, if so, please uh, uh, request a, a f uh, I don't know what it would be called, like a post-election ballot for out-of-date checks. I don't know. Thank you for uh, uh, complimenting me on my haircut, though, Misty. Very much appreciated. Uh, could easily have an automated email that asks if they want to redistribute their vote. Yeah, uh, see, I. That's the thing, though. Like, it would it would have to be. You couldn't just like reply to the email with like, "Yeah, change my vote to Biden" or whatever. You would have to get a new ballot and mail that in, or maybe an electronic ballot. I don't know. Again, extremely naive take from Oreo. There's probably so much more that goes into this that I'm not thinking about. Plus, you also have to take in the fact of, uh, you have to also take into consideration that a lot of people don't fill in the box entirely, so their vote probably doesn't even get counted as referenced as uncommitted. There's 5,330 or 500, that number. You know the thing, whatever. <laughs> that number of people that probably fucked up even coloring in the box. And then you've got, uh, fucking people that have shitty handwriting so the email address that they scan doesn't register or comes up as, as a bunch of shit that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you, you, you would have inaccurate data to contact these people. I'm not saying that's not a possibility. However, I, I feel like you could still reach out to a decent chunk of these fucking people. Like Bloomberg... Honestly, you could just put that all towards Biden. So he's got like 520,000 votes. This you put towards Bernie. I mean, not all of them, but uh, just bear with me, guys. Uh, you put all this towards Bernie. This puts him at, um, what does that put him at? Actually, that would actually probably put him at a tie. Really close tie. Um, 60,000, you split this. 30 to Bernie, 30 to Biden. Klobuchar, you probably send this all to fucking Biden. Uh, Tulsi, I know she's still in, but realistically, like, I p give that to Bernie. Uh, Andrew Yang, probably another split, half to Bernie, half to Biden. Um, the rest of these are just irrelevant. I don't even know who, uh, like, Michael Bennett, John Delaney, Deval Patrick, never heard of these people. Um, but yeah, that's that. That would be my hot take. My my hot pink. Oh, I close it out. But yeah, you you get the idea. So there it is. Yeah, it's not a number two pencil. Does not compute. It, that's fucking like 1960s shit. Can we seriously update our fucking election system, please? Here's. In a, in, a, in a wild fantasy world where Oreo just happens to have control over the voting process in the United States, here's what I propose. 
You make an app. You make a, a, a smartphone app where, and this would have to be, uh, and I know I'm going to get a bunch of people that are like, who's programming the app? How are you going to make sure that's not hacked? How are you going to do this and how are you going to do that? Just fucking listen to me for one second instead of jumping down my fucking throat. Here's what I'm saying. You make an app. You do all the security shit, all right? As a developer, I know there's a lot that goes into it. I'm a web developer myself. I know this isn't easy, but I'm still saying it because this is this makes the most sense, all right? You make an app. You you have the app be basically on lockdown until an election comes up for your area and you base that off of like location, right? And ooh, but we mock location. Shut up. I'm thinking this through as I go. You have an app and you vote on the app and it all goes into a big system and boom, easy, right? And you make sure it's secure. You make sure that uh, everybody who registers has to register with their social security number. Through that social security number, you have a whole bunch of information on the person. You have their age, where they currently are registered to vote. Maybe you don't base it off a of location. Maybe you base it off of where they are currently registered to vote. Makes sense to me, right? So you still have to register to vote th the old way or you can do it online or whatever, but there's a whole system that goes into that, right? So you base it off of that. So if you're on vacation in San Diego and you live in Georgia and there's an election going on and you can't vote, you can go on your phone and vote from San Diego because you are registered to vote in Georgia, so it makes sense, right? <sighs> Does that, uh, I mean, that, again, very naive take. But it'd be so much easier. It'll never happen, though, because that would require boomers to know how to use smartphones, of which boomers are the majority uh, voting demographic in America. So therefore, uh, this will never work. And we have to rely on a uh, ancient fucking paper system with some technology mixed in that doesn't work half the fucking time because it has to literally scan... Uh, paper signatures and, and handwriting and shit, which isn't going to work. Um, <clears throat> you could also make it so when you fill out the ballot on the app and then it prints out a physical version comparable to what we use now to circumvent issues with hacks, etc. I like that, actually. I like that idea. That's a, that, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, the option to print out a paper ballot. Like There's like a machine at the voting place and you... Uh, print out a paper ballot and shit. Yeah. Uh, Buttigieg already showed us that an app fails on every level to count votes fairly. The thing is that in the end, your vote doesn't matter because it is a one party run system that is voting for a candidate, not the president. Um, I mean, look, you have to look into like how that app was developed. Uh, I mean, like the fact that Buttigieg put money into it and it was a company out in what was it? Boston named shadow. And they wrote the app and it was buggy as buggy as fuck. It's like, okay, so why don't you have an independent third party or not third? I shouldn't say third party. That's going to confuse people. Uh, some sort of uh, independent um, developer. Maybe you even make the fucking thing open source. Just so that people can be like, oh, 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 actually, there's there's bias in the code, man, and blah, 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 blah. And it's also going to open the, the ability to, to look for, like, security vulnerabilities and shit, which, um, honestly, I think it's important. Yeah, no one knows what Linux even is. Um, basically, the primaries have proven to literally not matter. The party chooses who they want regardless of what people vote for. Yeah, exactly, and that's... That's why um, that's why I've completely lost any amount of fucking faith that I had in this. Like, I had an iota of hope for the United States, um, but that 
is gone. I'm I'm pretty convinced that uh, this entire country is just going to become a failed republic. I I have completely given up on this country. There's there's no hope. I mean, you, here's what's going to happen. Trump is going to be reelected. Uh, Ginsburg is probably going to die, and you're going to have a seven-two conservative majority Supreme Court for the next thirty to forty years at least. Which means any even slightly progressive policy is never going to see the light of day. Uh, it's just going to be a continuation, uh, and that and that that's the other thing too. Like people don't realize that Trump is basically setting the precedent for future presidents to be like, oh, um, so all the representatives voted on this piece of legislation, uh, and I'm going to veto it, but. Senate is going to override my uh, veto with a two-thirds majority. Uh, so why don't we go? Why don't we? Why don't we take this to my friends at the Supreme Court so they can be like, <laughs> you know what? This this is not constitutional. <laughs> Shut it down. Got him. <laughs> and then that's basically going to be that. That's literally going to be the next forty years, because Trump is putting all these like thirty-five-year-old fucking judges and well, not thirty-five, but you know what I mean. He's trying to get them as young as possible so they last as long as possible because it's a lifetime nomination unless they step down. Chances of them stepping down is slim. Again, you're stuck with a fucking uh, a conservative rule in this country uh, for, for 40 years. It doesn't matter who you elect. Uh, even if you elected Bernie Sanders, even if you elected uh, some really like left strong progressive candidate like uh, like AOC or um, uh, I don't know. Those are the only two I can think of right now. Uh, not Warren. Warren is like, she's like a fucking wet paper bag when it comes to integrity. Um, so it doesn't matter who do you elect. Doesn't matter who has a majority in the Senate or Congress Supreme court. They're just going to send everything there. They're going to shut it down. Um, and that's going to be the end of it. And on top of that, a lot of uh, previous rulings are going to be revisited. Road v. Way. Wait, wait. What the fuck did I just say? Roe v. Wade. Okay. Uh, that's going to be revisited and probably overturned. Uh, not good. I know. Road v. Wade. <laughs> Oops. I did a Biden there. I did a, I did a malarkey right there. I did a oopsie. Yeah. So I've so basically um we're completely like if you're a progressive, if you're a, a left-leaning progressive in this country, uh you can pretty much give up on on literally anything until you are an old old man or woman. You can basically just give up on that right now. Another option is to leave this failed republic and go move to Canada, go move to Europe, go move to a place that's a little bit more enlightened, uh, a little bit more um, educated, uh, a little bit more better, which the bar is very low for that because the United States is losing its fucking ranking in, in pretty much everything. But we're the greatest country on the whole planet. Blah, blah, blah. No, we're not actually. Blah. When you start to ramble off the Constitution, but you've never read the thing. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too. Like, have you read the Constitution? That's the same shit as, have you read the transcripts? Read the transcript. No one's fucking re You haven't read the fucking transcripts, dude. Shut the fuck up. It's just a bunch of, like, conservative MAGA NPCs that just parrot Fox News and alt-right talking points. They don't actually know how to have a sub... And don't don't get me wrong, uh, the left is just as bad at this. Don't get me wrong, but because I'm a, I'm a leftist, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shit on the right for a second here. But, uh, you know, all these conservative NPCs that, that just parrot fucking talking points and you actually get them into a, a, a discussion... Um, like I, I have seen so many arguments on Twitter over Medicare for all and everybody's just like, dude, how'd you go pay for it? How'd you go pay for it? It's like, okay, well, here's Bernie's plan for how he's going to pay. That don't make any sense. That's not, that, that doesn't count for this and that. And, and, and what about, what about, what about, it's like, okay, well, Bernie's addressed this also as well. He's going to introduce a, um, 
Capital gains. That, no, oh, but that that's not going to pay for the whole thing. You know how expensive it's going to be? It don't make any sense. It don't make no sense. It's like, okay, okay, I got it. 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 Okay. You are not interested in having a conversation. You are not interested in learning anything about uh, the fact that Bernie has actually proposed policies and plans for these policies, which, albeit maybe they won't work, but he has plans. He has uh, he has uh, laid out uh, a roadmap of how he's going to actually pay for this shit. So every time you go like, how's he going to pay for it? He's just going he's gonna to raise our taxes 5 million percent and then we're all going to be taxed to death and blah. It's like, okay, you are not interested in actually learning anything about uh, this candidate. You are not interested in having a conversation. You are just a brain-dead fucking moron that you're you're stuck in, in this narrow world view and you have no interest. You All you want is to just... You, you think you can literally just walk up to anyone and be like, <laughs> what about this? Got him, liberal. <laughs> like... It's just ridiculous. Uh, anyways, uh, guys, uh, guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. It's that. It's time to end the stream because uh, Oreo's gotta go to bed. Oreo's gotta do bed, bed, bed by time. He's gotta go sleep, sleep, sleep night, night. Okay. All right. Perfect. Great. I'm glad everyone's uh, on board with what's going on. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's find somebody, somebody to, somebody to raid. Wah! Do, 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 do. Okay, we're not going to get into that. Uh, we're all right. Well, I already know who we're going to raid. Why is she? Oh, my God. Hold on, before I announce that. Um. Oh, God damn it! All right, she's playing Fortnite, but whatever. I I I fucking hate Fortnite, dude. Fortnite triggers me. All right, guys, we're gonna go raid S Rivs. So please give her some, uh, give her your love and support, and and positive energy, and good vibes, and and uh, uh, co gaming. Uh, vibes very nice very high quality um almost 12 a.m after noon wait it's almost 12 a.m after noon thailand yes why hello wish thank you so much for being here biological machine also as well manic very much appreciate all you guys all you beautiful people misty and everybody else in the chat and everybody else watching Guys, thank you all so much for being here. Very much appreciate it. I appreciate all the hosts, the raids, the subs, the donos, the cheers, the resubs, the follows, the lurks, the I think that's all of them. Guys, thank you all so much for the support tonight. We're gonna go raid Esros. We're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna Coke Gaming Raid! Coke Gaming Raid! Coke Gaming Raid, everybody. We're gonna do a Coke Gaming Raid, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Coke Gaming Raid. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you could, fasten your seatbelts and and make sure that the belt has clicked fully before lounging in your full upright seat position. Uh, following that, um, uh, please enjoy the flight over to SRIV's channel, and please be sure to hype it up the fuck hardcore AF as fuck, boy. Coke Gaming Raid, ASMR Coke Gaming Raid. Uh, for those of you who do not want to get too hyped, uh, we can do an ASMR Coke Gaming Raid. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to send you off to the beautiful, illustrious artisan streamer, Esrivs. And you will all have a very fun time. Thank you so much for choosing Oreo uh, Airlines. And we will see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central. See you then, everybody. Goodbye and good night. And God bless. And God bless the United States of America.